in a world in crisis. Can three idiots find hope in the darkest of places? Will love conquer all, or will hate win out in the end? This is a show called Hate. A show called Hakes, a podcast in which we explore love, hates, and everything in between. It's such a great meaning and perhaps a little perspective. I'm John. I'm Nick. I'm Chris. And it's party time. Woo! Woo! Get ready. Oh, oh, no, put your... <laughs> it's going off. It's gone in your mouth. Woo! Woo! It's Christmas. It's your Christmas. Christmas. Well, I, I, when you said you were going to like unpeel and uncork. A you didn't believe me. Bottle of champagne live on air. Uh, no one's done it before. You didn't believe no, me. No, no. I mean, and the audio tapestry that you just woke. I wonder how many there. people jumped at that moment. Yeah, I reckon six people. Right in if you jumped. Right in if you jumped. Yeah. I'd kill to have six people. Yeah. <laughs> if I made that many people jump, <laughs> then we're doing something right. Mission accomplished. So um, thank you for bringing some champagne. Oh, you're welcome. Room. Yes. Uh, before going on air, uh, Chris Ray, the only one in the room, pointed out that this is our Christmas episode. Well, it's the last one before Christmas. And yeah. we hadn't thought of that. No. Because here... It is December, though. No. Here at, here at um, a show called Hate Towers... A show called Hate Towers. Yes. Uh, format is king. And, pla- and every episode is planned to, a, to a letter. To within, to within an yeah. inch of its life. This yeah. entire conversation is scripted, of course, as we've said many times on the oh, show. Oh, absolutely. And so, of course... It just we sounds did, organic. Of course, we did know it was Christmas. But part of the joke mm. that we wrote for this episode was that we thought two of us might have forgotten, yeah. <laughs> in inverted commas, that, that, it's Christ- that it's Christmas. Or oh, the meaning of Christmas. We're, yes, what and we need the, to what be... What is the meaning of Christmas? Well, we're going to learn through champagne. Oh, very good. Through the medium of Can champagne. I pour the champagne? Well, I mean... It, we, we, the cuppies. We brought these Put cuppies it in the cuppies, didn't we? You brought three cuppies, John. Tax Foley. Tax great. No, please, please, think, keep, please keep making these noises. I think they're a right off. <laughs> oh, listen to that! I hope oh, the mic picks that up. Oh, is the mic likely to pick that? That up? is the hiss of a high quality champagne. If you can hear it from over there, then we should be all right. Yeah, exactly. That's I'm aware dumb. that oh. I, I feel like I should speak to fill the void, but I'm just so horrified at, at, at what you're doing to the Why? The noise, the microphone. Stop it! <laughs> that was deliberate. No, it wasn't. I'm just very clumsy. Are you, are you trying to be like a fancy mate D? It's for tremors. That's how you're supposed to hold a champagne. Well, yeah. don't, don't, careful where you're pointing that. <laughs> just fill the cuppies. Just yeah. fill the cuppies. Fill the cuppies. <laughs> just fill the cuppies. It comes out quite slowly, doesn't it? Stupid champagne. I think it's all the bubbles. Maybe it's quite thick. It, there are a lot of bubbles. <laughs> this Maybe is, we yeah. need to dilute it like squash. It's champagne too. <laughs> the new, the new thicker champagne. champagne. This, is, this is really more of a jus. <laughs> yes. It's, uh, we it's, need to add tonic to it. It's like that kind of Robinson right, well, fruits, that, fruit shoot, now. yeah. You yeah. know what astronauts have, like, okay, okay, astronaut I'm... food? Yeah, no, hang on a minute. You take that. I'm just going gonna, gonna to put this bottle. Can we not top up the cuppies? You, which one do you want? Oh, okay, I'll take oh, this Oh, this is great. The L on it. Listen, I was insisting that he do this before we start recording. Not but... that insisting. Oh, John's still... helping himself to more. Oh, I well, see. I, Nick, oh. Nick, Nick, put Nick, the champagne down, he Nick said. said top up the cuppies. I did say top up the cuppies. Here, top up my cuppy. Oh, oh I'd love to. Thank you, yeah. Top up yeah. the cuppy. Oh, Do- there isn't actually much in there. The bubbles were quite misleading. This is it, you see. We need to add tonic water this to it. This is going to be a top up my Top up my cuppies. Top up com. my cuppies. This episode's going to be a mess, just for the record. It's already a mess. Hey, look, we went in with the best of intentions. It was going to be like... A regular episode. Yeah, you nothing know. special, nothing to nothing write home special. about. None of this Christmas shit, none of this. Cheers, all the best. Cheers. Cheers. Anyway, cheers, Happy all the Christmas. best. Uh, cheers, um, all the best. Um, goodwill uh, and peace ding, on, peace on earth and all that. Yeah. Yeah. The mm. true meaning of Christmas today on this episode. Mm, with Pierre Noel. <sighs> oh, deli- oh, it's fantastic. That's all right. That is a great pain. That's where champagne goes. It begins. That's why they call it window pane, I guess. <laughs> they do, they do say yeah. that, yeah. I wonder what Eminem is doing for Christmas. I wonder what Eminem is doing right now. Listening to this, a big poo. Could be, yeah, could be. Could be. Yeah. Oh, Eminem has to do right. a poo sometimes. Yeah. This is a radical notion I've had from yeah. time to time. Everyone poos. Yeah. They have, no matter who they are, no matter how glamorous they are, no matter how glamorous their lifestyle. Pick the most glamorous person you can think of right now. Go. Uh, Beyonce. 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 Good answer. Yeah. She has a poo from time to time. Well, yeah. I didn't. I mean, like Beyonce though. Would Does she? Beyonce have a poo? I can't imagine that. I would imagine Beyonce like. <laughs> Here we go. Poos, in, <laughs> poos into a machine. That turns her poos into like solid gold, and then she can sell them. And, and let's be honest, them. people would people buy would. Oh, you better believe people would buy that. Oh, but you better believe even before the gold that. coating. Yeah, they would buy that. Mm. But yeah, that's my image. I of reckon that when Beyonce does a poo, it just comes out like a neat little pearl. Yeah, 
and it smells incredible. <laughs> it's like, plop. yeah. And she just flushes. And it. that's another like five grand. That's five grand down the fucking at least, toilet. At least five yeah. grand. Every Beyonce pearl. Every Beyonce. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just gone. She's How, got a, she's got she a doesn't management sell him. team just for that. She doesn't sell them because it's fucking weird. I, I'm trying to. She should though. She should though. She should I, make uh, bank there. Make necklaces. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm try- I, part of my brain is going like John. Rush in, save this episode. But I'm also no. Like, We've only had a sip of champagne. What are you yeah. talking about? Beyonce John, Poop every Pearls? pre-Christmas episode of this podcast has been, an absolute, has been an absolute shambles. It's been a triumph. And what's, do you remember? No. One of the first um, uh, Christmas episodes, you put an apology at the start of the episode, which I later withdrew on your behalf. <laughs> yeah. I edited out your withdrawal. Though. <laughs> no. Wouldn't have thought so. You don't know what you were John away. can do. You were away and then you left us to do the next episode. This is a fact. Yes. Because you oh, were on yes. a honeymoon. Honeymoon, yes. That's right. That's and true. we did the next episode true. with our wives. That's right. Girlfriend yes. slash wives. Um, gorilla Eggs. That was... I was That's about to say Gorilla Eggs. So it was called one. Gorilla Eggs. Yeah. 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 Um, and, I la- and I retracted your apology. And I stand by that. Mm. You're right to do so. Yeah. Yeah. We make no apologies on this. On so this if podcast. John does issue an apology for the episode later... I'm already retracting it. Yeah, it retracted in Pointless. advance. Pointless well, to do it. Uh, uh, maybe I'm coming around to this now because uh, my, my thinking was like, good God, why are you doing this to me? That is a lot of champagne I mean, t- to me, like, you know, you're kind of like killing, the sh- you're killing the show. It's a personal oh, no, I wouldn't have thought so. It's like a second live autopsy. It's something Channel 4 would put on. Christmas is a time to throw caution to the wind. We, we had so much positive feedback on that episode. I remember people saying that was one of my favourite episodes. Correct. We did have one person who didn't like it. Oh. Who they will remain nameless. Is it John? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, because they thought we were too drunk. Oh. But 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 beyond that, I think that was just another compliment in disguise to be doing. What's that like so. episode six? <laughs> it was episode six of our crossover Christmas special, which may also have contributed to the uh, to the you yeah. know the radical notions. That we were. set the time now. When when anyone goes, like, oh, you got a podcast. You know, should I start at the beginning? No, like, no, no. <laughs> no. Just start... I still think episode two is the best episode we did. That really, was with the Crinklers. Oh wow, was that episode two? I thought mm. it was episode one. Oh no, because episode one was, was episode one was about four drop. hours long. Yeah, and it, it was recorded in the kitchen. Yes, I remember of, recording uh, it. Big Punch Towers once upon a time. Yes, mm, probably remember. horrific audio, I'd imagine. I'd have thought so. And we're much better than that now. It oh, went, it so went on forever. Did it? Oh God! I don't remember. Listen, look, look back and see how long that. Episode oh, I don't listen. To the I podcast. never look back. No, yeah. it's no. oh, I only look. <laughs> I'll look back. I only, look, I only look into the immediate past. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. But hey, like, um, I thought we were going to have a normal episode. Mm. You, Today, you turned up bearing gifts, mm-hmm. a bottle of champagne. Oh, sh- champagne. champagne! Some champagne. Why did you have? Did you get that especially? No, it was in the <laughs> fridge. Oh. No, yeah, yeah. Let, let, you're almost it? offended by that. No, I wouldn't. Buy it. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. wouldn't. That's fair. It tastes like um, actual champagne, doesn't it? It is actual champagne. Yeah. Well, as opposed to you can't write champagne on the bottle. No, what's the other one? Um, Prosecco. Prosecco. Yeah, but yeah, I didn't look at the label, did I? It says champagne on it. Well, you, you should read. I'm going to read the label. You should read it. See? Yeah, it says champagne. It says yeah. champagne on it. And it, what can't speak can't lie. John, it says so. champagne. <laughs> champagne is spelt wrong. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a Q in it. <laughs> Silent Q at the start. <laughs> no, yeah, proper stuff. I think we probably acquired that as a gift in a previous Christmas, I would have thought. Oh, really? I would have thought so. Was it left over from your so. wedding, potentially? Could be. Could no, be. I, no, probably not. That was a long time ago. It wouldn't have lasted that long. It would not have lasted that long. I mean, like, you, you, you are now a, like a dad. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, like, would you have been <laughs> saving the champagne for like a major life? Moment, oh, well. You know, like a <laughs> no, milestone. We, to be honest, that's not our only bottle. Um, oh, sure, yeah. There's yeah. other stuff in the fridge. Yeah. So Okay, very good. I just said to Liz, do you mind if I take one of the bottles? And she... She didn't answer. So I'm t- glad so <laughs> she was too <laughs> asleep. Yeah. <laughs> she wasn't even in the house. I'm glad you had the presence of mind to know that this is our Christmas episode. Well, it's the last one before Christmas. I didn't necessarily want to dictate that it would be. No, a I think it, I'm and saying yeah, it now. We're I'm kind of, my we're ass kind of here, here we are. Yeah. It's Christmas episode. But it's the last one. It is factually, it's the last one. Have before you Christmas. brought themed hates That's and loves yes. to the table? Right. You see, here's another problem. <laughs> right. I, I haven't. Luckily, it's all you, part of the script that we wrote for this. Oh, very funny oh of course. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's true. Actually. Oh, to be honest, I hadn't. Um, until today, thought about it, and then I suddenly thought about it. And that I is thought, true, also I'll, for I'll, me. I'll bring till ten minutes ago. Well, yeah, I was walking here to record, and Christmas. I was working out what my loves and hates were. Oh, right, yes. yeah, yeah. Uh, I often do that, but yeah, you yeah. you live like a week's travel away. So yes, exactly. Like, yeah, you were get, very well prepared. I got on my private jet, which we yeah, can pay yeah. for with the money from this podcast, indeed. Yes. Yeah, and spent the whole flight uh, really, really poring over my recent past and, yeah. and coming to terms with things I love and things I yeah. hate. And... Sat down with your researchers and kind of really yeah, got into it. I've got a good squad of researchers now. 
now. Good, seven good seven yeah. or eight of them. They're all really committed to my past, my yeah. recent past. And they've got to trawl back through the archives to make sure you haven't said it before. Yeah, exactly. They're with me at all times, like recording what I do. And, yeah. Yeah. We've never repeated ourselves on air. I don't think so. No. <laughs> Repetitiveness is my job. How, how do we my know? My job. <laughs> Repetitiveness is my job. This is good. I'm sentence. enjoying all this. this. That's yeah. a funny yeah. joke. It's yeah, good. It's, it's a good pretty good. Yeah. It's a good. That's a it's classic. Good. Repetitiveness. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, well, I we certainly wasn't feeling the Christmas spirit God before. But, 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 it, I mean, it hasn't hit yet. No, fine. Maybe by the end of this session, we will. I would say as well as uh, plus the bottle of champagne, we have more beer than usual. Great in the room. We're fucked. So this could be. A car crash. I was expecting a nice, gentle episode. I was not expecting what this is becoming. No, fuck it. Yeah, it's, I'm, no. I'm already feeling it. Like, I only have a couple of brain cells, and I'm quite tired, and also I'm a lightweight. You're feeling... And I'm feeling the effects oh, of the yeah. champagne already. Yeah. I can feel it flooding I've into my brain cavity. i more of a lightweight in the last year, I would say. Yeah, hun- hun- can we blame your son? Oh, can I, I think, blame yeah, your I, son? Yeah, I think so. Partly. Because I don't, I don't go out as getting leathered as often. <laughs> I went, frankly... I went out last Leonard. Friday with my work colleagues. Ah, yes. And people were giving me shots of tequila. Oh, And let me, let me tell you, that did not land well. <laughs> Saturday, Saturday was a write-off. Oh, I see. I wonder why we didn't see you at the weekend. That was one of the reasons. One of yeah. the reasons, yeah. I, I was, the other uh, one was, yeah, we tired. just didn't want to. I was tired and emotional see. because I was drunk. Yeah. I was well, exhausted because I've been up drinking all night. I had two half pints last night. Did you? Yeah. Which is yeah. pretty radical for me. Mm. Two half pints. I went because I had a Daddy Wednesday yesterday. Ah, uh, Daddy Wednesday. Is that a new <laughs> cocktail? Yeah. Yeah, might as well be. <laughs> Very potent. I went to meet Liz because she was at a work thing in town. Oh, I see. Uh, in the afternoon. Um, so I went and had a beer. Oh, and then nice. we went for some food. And I had another beer. Oh, two beers. So that was two beers. But I yeah, I mean, fri- the last Friday was a, was the most I've drunk in a long time, and and I was feeling it. So did you take Saturday. your little lad to the pub with you? Oh, sure. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Propped him up in the corner. Yeah. yeah. It's slightly more responsible to take him to the pub than to leave him at home on his own. I think it is. Yeah. Slightly. Yeah. Only slightly. Though. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you can make him wait outside. He was just looking at the cars going past, to be honest. He was quite happy. He was oh, out nice. of it. He was, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely he wasted. Was, he, so he, drunk, he had a couple yeah. of beers. Um, He's a good lad. Well, I... Uh, maybe... I'm, I'm stretching here to try and get, like, the Christmassy thing oh, in. Oh, sure. But maybe, like, the fact that I got kicked in the ribs oh, mm. at my martial arts training this week. Indeed, yeah. Well, I was thinking that could be my Rudolph contribution because I have one big inflamed rib... <laughs> Which is glowing so bright against oh, yeah. uh, the snow and all that. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. a stretch. That's all I got. That's, that's a huge stretch. It's yeah. a huge reach. It my, is. My rib hurts. Yeah. Yeah. So you got kicked in the rib. I got kicked in the rib. I got, a, a, I got a nice nice lump on by my... By a Bushido man. By a Bushido man. You yeah. paid to be kicked in the rib. Yeah. Yeah. You paid a man people, to kick you People in do rib. pay a lot for that. They do. It's true. On TikTok. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> probably. 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 It's probably out there somewhere. Rib talk. <laughs> Some shit like that. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're not. You're probably not wrong, sadly. Yeah. So anyway, I thought I'd bring champagne for Christmas. Oh, yes. Thank you. You're very welcome. But One of my either hate or love. I won't spoil it. Oh. Um. Could could be. Well, it kind of is because it's happened in recent memory as my researchers were, were good to find. Yeah. And of course, it is Christmassy out there at the moment. It's kind of there's uh, there's some Christmassy shit. There are out lights there. up. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Lights and, all that. and so because of that, it has ended up being Christmas adjacent. There you go. That'll, so that's I'm that's close down. enough. Oh, okay. Mine isn't not like mm. I got unless I can like change it. You know, to like trying to think of something Christmassy in the in the next twenty minutes. But here's the thing: I'm like I'm I'm being a bit of a Scrooge here. I hadn't thought about it at all until you got a tree up though downstairs. Yeah, but it's like you know you working in I. Working in all, 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 all working. We're all busy, John. I'm not thinking about we're joy all, and goodwill and all it's that. It's a Thursday. So I've got work tomorrow. You, you be the ghost who's meant to change my. You oh. know, um, which ghost are you? Assholes uh, past. Which one? Yeah. Ghost of past assholes. or fu- future? Past is like a weird little glowing girl. Yep. Right? Uh, Oh, Present is like about a, a massive man who's very jolly but dies very quickly. Yeah, he's like a man in a puppet suit. Whereas, yeah. Which as film a, yeah. is this? Well, it's not. It's just a story of, oh, of Christmas Muppets Carol. Muppets Christmas. Muppets Christmas. Muppets Christmas, 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 Christmas. Christmas. We can go yeah. with Muppets Actual if you Christmas want. Carol. But I was I was just talking generally speaking how it's described in the book. Yeah. Past is like I a th- glowing little girl. Yeah. Who's like a candle kind of. Yeah. Present is like a big jolly man. Yeah, yeah. I think I think Charles Dickens wrote. He's like a big felt. He's man. like a big felt yeah. puppet man. A big felt man. Yeah. yeah. So he yeah. probably wrote that. Yeah. And then yet to come slash future. Yeah. Is like death. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. So How which, which many... one do you want to be? You know, like the Muppet. Uh, middle one. Fine. I think everyone will want to be the middle one. He dies very quickly. Yeah. Yeah. But he seems happy about it. Sure. Okay, fine. Yeah. I'll be the I'll be the Scrooge one. Scrooge isn't a spirit. He's not a ghost. No, but he's in it. Ah, oh, but there's the secret he's... extra ghost. Bonus ghost? Marley. What? Marley, that's J- true. Jacob Marley. He doesn't really... Oh, Jacob. Jacob. So Jacob. Yes, there's some yeah. synergy. Doesn't really count, but sure. Yeah. Probably learns the biggest lesson from him, actually, overall. Yeah, he's yeah, kind of like know. a... It's like he's come up from hell, because he's like yeah. he's all chained up. It's quite bleak, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. There's more tale. gravy than grave about you, is the line. Oh. oh it's all coming back yeah. to me now, yeah. Yeah, because he thinks he's a result of food poisoning. <laughs> I mean, we've all been there. We are, <laughs> I've, yeah. I've yeah. seen a chained ghost when I had a bit of weird cheese. Yeah. Um, what were you going to say about Christmas Carol? I don't know. Literally, you robbed the thought from my head. Yeah. I Good. can't. This is how, the gone. episode's going really well so far. Yeah, yeah. it's going well. It's the champagne. Probably. Oh no, that was it. Uh, you know, like the Muppets. I know, and I, you get yeah, like, I know like the Muppets. You get yes. like a regular kind of base level evolutionary Muppet, which was like a hand in a yeah in, in, a, in a sock in a, in a felt sock. Yes, mm. and then you get like. The Super Muppets, of which there were fewer. People in a suit. Yes, which were bigger than a human. Like Big Bird. Yeah. Yes. I guess my question is, uh, Big Bird was Ses- Sesame Street? Which yeah, is Jim Henson, well, which is basically... Yeah. Muppets, yes. Kermit was on Sesame Street. Was he, really? he was a reporter. Jesus. Crossover. He was like a frog reporter. The greatest crossover of all time. It, indeed. I guess my question, what I'm saying is, how many humans were inside the Ghost of Christmas uh... present, do you think? Controlling oh, him. Oh, I reckon four. Four. One yeah. each one limb. One for each limb. Kind yeah. of, or five, maybe, like Voltron. Yeah. Oh, one could, yeah. one's just for head. Yeah. Your torso and head. Yeah. There you go. Someone's got to control the nipples. Oh yeah, it's very important. They're a key animatronic. Element. Someone's got to control the nipples. Every, every time. Someone's got to control the, the nipples. The nipples were actually smaller muppets. That's all no one That's talks right. about. Yeah. Two little socks. That would have been cool. Yeah. Would it? Fun de- well, a little design feature. <laughs> that would have been cool. <laughs> that would have been cool. Like, That's what kids like. Yeah. But you never see him. Ah! Yeah, you never his see him with his clothes. But they're off. there. Oh. oh they're no, there. but but they should have done that. But that's have the attention to detail that Jim Henson brought brought to sure, it. Sure, yeah. When they first showed Jim Henson Big Daddy Muppet, when yeah. they first showed him like their, you know, their He must have been like, this has grown beyond me. Capital Muppet. This is this this <laughs> whole franchise has just grown beyond my That must be how Charles reckoning. Dickens would feel about Christmas about, Carol about, well. about the Muppets. Yeah. As well. <laughs> about the Muppets as well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imagine what Charles Dickens thinks it's about a, the Muppet Christmas it's Carol. It's a cautionary tale, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. What if like the ghost of Charles Dickens came back and for one night only they're like, Charles, we'd like to show you the peak of I, your work. I dread to think what people like Dickens and, you know, even Tolkien or whoever would think about what people have done with their stuff. I know. They'd I know. probably be like, what the hell what, have you or, done? What or, in all heck is or, this? Or alternatively, uh, you know, Dickens looks at Muppet Christmas Carol and mm. goes, that's the one. You, you I got, always... You got my vision. He, I always f- figured he'd be a big felt man. What I find interesting about Muppets as a species, yeah, yeah. Uh, species. let's get into this, but yeah. we've got a biologist here. Hello. Oh, hi, yeah, yeah. No, I'm here. Um, is that they? Are, that every one of them is different? Yes. Well, so yeah, not all of them. Well, offspring Doesn't tends Kermit to have be... a cousin? Sure. Called? Um, Coromit. <laughs> no, he's <laughs> something on the stairs, halfway oh, on the stairs. Oh, he's like uh, Robin. Stair- he's called Robin. Cousin Robin, yeah. Oh, nephew Robin. He's is he played... a frog? Yeah, he plays Tiny he's Tim. Oh, he's a slightly different shade. Yeah. Yeah, of green. Yeah. Um, so some of them are... Never see his brother, though. Animals. Who's brother? Kermit's brother. Does he have, any, does he have a brother? Well, well if he has a nephew. nephew. Oh, that's true, yeah. Mark Kermode. Nice, yeah. That's good. That's, oh, that's, good. that's, could, that's, yeah. that's a real joke. That's a joke yeah. now, that's, the podcast. Yeah. Uh, we'll put that in. Um, so some of them are animals. Yes. Which is fine. Like mm. Miss Piggy and Kermit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, some of them aren't. Like Gonzo. But what how did how that? do they become sentient, the Muppets? Like he's a, he's a, a, like a humanoid them. No, but he's a humanoid frog. <laughs> yeah, indeed. And Miss Piggy is a humanoid pig. In She's sexy. She's sexy as all heck, but she's just a pig. In... How did that happen? How did In... she get so sexy, John? Answer how that did, biologist. How, did she, how about... is she talking English? No, that's a Muppet. John, the... how is she talking English? <laughs> John, sit down. <laughs> and why is she so sexy? <laughs> no one's answering that. There was that. Muppets movie from like a decade ago. It yes, had... the one that. Um, uh, yes, the yeah. Yeah. Ricky Gervais was, was in it. one. He was in the, se- the sequel. Oh right, uh, yeah. But it was like it's a good movie. It is a good movie. Yeah, it's, it's got good songs. It. In but it. apparently, I can't remember the um, the American comedian who starred in it. He was like in all those. Like, he was in How I Met Your Mother. Yeah, he was in like all of the. Those. Jason Segel. Yes, yes, that's the one. Yeah, nice but he that. wrote it. Oh, okay, cool. And he oh, was very good at that kind. Of, he does a lot of that kind of stuff. But he wanted to have a scene where mm. you saw oh, no. the main Muppet getting born, which would be the equivalent <laughs> of him being a uh, like assembled, 
like in a factory. Oh, and they said no. And the Muppet people were like, no, 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 you can't. That you don't. They're not toys. There's they're a, Muppets. There's they a don't... movie. Yeah, because they're treated like a species. Yeah. Yeah. There's a movie called Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Yes. Which is also, I and think, Muppets written are... by Jason Segel. I he believe it a, is. Write, his character writes a Dracula musical, which With is puppets. Muppet, Muppet Puppet. Um, oh, do you reckon that's how he Dracula got the... Dracula stuff. Yeah, it could maybe. be. Yeah. Or vice versa. That was very funny. And um, what's his face from uh, Flight of the Concours did the songs? Yes. Jermaine. Not Jermaine. No, the other one. Brett. Brett. Brit. 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 Yeah, there you go. Factoid. That is it's good. good movie. Maybe yeah. I will watch it then. It's I like be. both of those people. It's a very entertaining movie. And I don't, I don't hate the Muppets. I love the Muppets. I, I like no the Muppets. No one can hate the Muppets. Can you, do you what not are you talking have strong about? feelings? It's not, that, it's not that I hate them. I just have no strong feelings either way. Nearly everything that Jim Henson does, mm. I have enjoyed. Yeah. Yes. I probably would enjoy it. Dark Crystal, fucking amazing. I'll put it on the Labyrinth, list. top notch. Yeah. Weird as fuck, but cool. What, the, David Bowie Labyrinth? Yes. Yeah. Is that Jim Henson? That's a Jim yeah. Henson production. Ah. Yeah, yeah. He, he was um, he was David Bowie's crotch. <laughs> Just a hand in his crotch. Yeah. yeah. David Bowie. No. Yeah, good. Labyrinth or David Bowie? David yeah, Brit. That's, a, that's another thing. Yes. Brit. There's a lot of connections here. There's a lot of synergies. It's, yeah, it's like yeah, Brett and Jermaine are in The Muppets, which is a Jim Henson product. Jim Henson did Labyrinth. David and Bowie. in Labyrinth is David Bowie, and the Flight of the Concords featured David Bowie a lot. It's a circle. And Brett was in Lord of the Rings as an elf. Tolkien. Really? He was yeah. an elf. Oh, and the Hobbit. Why does that connect? Be- oh, because he's know. in Flight of the Concords. Yeah. And we talked uh, about Tolkien. Right? Tolkien. It's not, it's not we very part of, it's not part of yeah. my precious circle. We very briefly mentioned. And if, more a figure of eight. And, and if we, we brought, very briefly mentioned Tolkien. Earlier. And if we brought Tolkien back to life and showed him a Muppet, he'd be like, "That's the one." If that's we brought exactly Tolkien back to life and showed him Muppets Christmas Carol, yeah, he'd be, he'd like, be like, "I love perfect. what you've done with Middle Earth." That's mm. exactly how I envisage <laughs> the Cimmerillion. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. Good. Actually, you know, Good. Talking, we're playing 4D chess now. We really are. I've lost my way. They're talking about rebooting. Like the Lord of the Rings, like making those movies again. No, and like no, but John, no, no, no. bear with me. That's a bad okay. idea. Those movies, those movies Un- are masterpieces. That's a bad idea. No, they are. Unless they unless, can't be. Doing unless, that. unless surely not. No, unless, unless it's Muppets. Muppets Lord of the Rings. That's fine. Muppets Lord of the Rings. I would watch the ever living. Yeah, shit. yeah, I'd be there for that, that right that's now. Fine. Yeah, you can't remake it in a, in a serious way. Surely Who not. Plays Frodo. Is it Kermit? <sighs> or is Kermit Aragorn? <laughs> Or is Kermit like Galadriel? Yeah, no, no, no. You're right. Kermit, um, Kermit Sauron. would be who's a hero. Sauron? Who's Sauron? No, because if Miss Piggy is Galadriel, yeah, then Kermit has to be Aragorn. Because this is or how you, this is how you cast Miss Piggy. It. You find the great love interest. No, but in it the wasn't story. Galadriel, Galadriel, Galadriel who, is the other elf. Oh Arwen. shit! No, yeah, Ar- Ar- Arwen. Sorry, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes. Showed my whole ass there. <laughs> so if you ca- yes, yeah, so you find the great love story <laughs> at yeah. the core of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you cast Kermit and Piggy in that because Kermit would have to turn up. Aragormit. Great. Aracorn. Great like work. Half an hour. Well, I say half. It'll be condensed. It'll be at one hour 20. Because oh, it'll be, okay. you know, yeah, fine. You could, no format of Lord of the Rings could condense that into <laughs> no, one hour 20. No, it'll still be three movies. Even the cartoon. It'll be three movies. The cartoon version of Lord of the Rings is like yeah. three hours long. But, but also like the Muppets, you'd have songs in it as well. You yeah, know? so you yeah. Yeah. get through major stuff. With the songs. With the songs. Yeah, Just exactly. fast forward with the songs. Yeah. Sure. yeah. So like, uh, yeah, Hero- uh, Kermit would turn up. Half hour, half an hour in, exactly at the turning point, and they'd be like, "I come but, to you now." I think we'd have time. like a bit of a like a fight scene where Kermit would be heroic and he'd like leap in and battle the ring wraiths or something like that. Sure, yes. yeah. So I guess that would make Frodo would be Robin the Frog, like a little frog, or maybe Elmo, like uh, what about are Elmo? all the hobbits frogs? Is Elmo? The Muppets? Well, he's a sesame. Elmo is oh, Jesus. Jesus. You can have Elmo if you want. There's an evolutionary I, we're branch. Need some level of where, crossover, yeah, we? they're like uh, it's like home, it's like uh, <gasps> Homo sapiens and Homo neanderthalis. You know, there's that bit where they fly on the big eagles. Big bird. Big bird. Big yeah. bird. Oh, Problem man. solved. This thing writes itself. This that's like the, that's the end game. You know, that's like the crossover we need. Saruman. Saruman. Do you go? Right, the old man. You know, like the yeah, <laughs> both of them. Oh my god, yeah, Gandalf. <laughs> Gandalf. I think, I think you go. Both of them are the old men. Gandalf yeah. is Stadler. Is... <laughs> Saruman is Waldorf, is what you're saying. Well, no, I was saying I was saying Saruman is both of them. Right, they're both just in white. Because yeah. you can't split them up. No, it's And then tricky. Gandalf is like Gonzo or something. It's tricky. <laughs> I was wondering about that. Like, uh, do you go? Because there's a couple of, there's always like a couple of like scary Muppets. Animal. Well, no, no, he's not scary. He's lovable. But you oh, know, like. Is. Animal could be Balrog. In, um, in like uh, uh, Muppets Christmas Carol, yeah. there's a few like. You know, the, the, the slightly more monstrous Muppets mm. are the ones who are like, I heard, I heard Scrooge is dead. 
you know, and I've got all these yeah, ones. Yeah. Sounds yeah. a bit like an orc. Seriously. Yeah, oh, like shit, an, yeah the yeah, orcs yeah, as well. Yeah. Like Sam the Eagle. He's Oi, always, what's this going down, yeah. down here then? That's like an orc. Sam the Eagle could be Saruman. That's actually quite a good show. Well, here's, here's the thing. Like, where do you go? Do you get one of the more evil Muppets to be, say, a bad guy? Or do you go completely left field and it is like Gonzo or yeah. something like that? Mm. Yeah. This tricky casting. It is. It's difficult, but I think we could do it. Isn't it like Rizzo the Rat? Yeah. He's he, lovable, though. He's lovable. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, who'd be good for him? Oh, 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 oh wait. Okay, no. Uh, I'm not sure about Sam and Frodo, who they would be, but Kermit is Aragorn. Sure. And yeah. then, of course, because Gonzo and Rizzo, they're always like a, 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 double, usually act. a double act. a double act. One's taller than the other. Mary and Pippin. So Go- no, I was going to say, <laughs> Gonzo is Legolas. And, uh, and yeah. Rizzo the Rat is Gimli. Yeah. Oh, that's actually very good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Rizzo as Gimli would be this good. This is great. Yeah. I want to watch this movie. This yeah. is amazing. That'd be fun. Yeah. Uh, who else is in the Fellowship? Boromir. 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 Who dies in the Muppets? Who dies? Who always dies in the Muppets? Michael Caine. <laughs> is he a Muppet? I didn't think I realised he was in the Muppet. Christmas Carol, he's like, isn't he? He's he like, dies? He's 104 Or does he now? just have a dream? In, like, in what? a Christmas Carol. He doesn't die in a Christmas Carol. But he gets shown... He, show, he gets shown his future death. Yeah. But he avoids that. Is the whole idea. Like, this is the basic plot of a Christmas Carol, is that he doesn't die. Oh, good. Good for yeah. him. Good for him. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's good. Yeah. Great. Man, I want to watch this so much. I'm Muppets, amazing. Lord of the Rings. I think Muppets, they struggle with the rights. They take themselves very seriously now. What, the Tolkien estate? Yes. Of the Muppets. The uh, Muppets also take themselves yeah, very kind seriously. Of yeah, yeah, kind of both. Yeah, kind of both. Could you do... Where do you get? How do you get Animal in? Well, he could be the Balrog. <gasps> <laughs> the Balrog. Yeah. <laughs> Just a massive animal. <laughs> yeah. So did we establish who Gandalf is? Well, I said Gonzo, but oh. then you kind of went for Gonzo being... Gonzo as Gandalf is very good, though. I do think Gonzo might be a better Gandalf mm. than, I think than you, a, yeah. Um, whatever the fuck you said, and I can't remember what it was. Well, it was going to be... Too much I can't remember. I didn't... I didn't oh, d- oh, you said Legolas and Gim- I I yeah. think Gimli as Rizzo is quite good. Mm. But I think... I know it's the double act. I know it's the double act. Oh, we forgot about um, Fong, uh, Fongzi. Fongzo. Oh, Fong, Fong, Fozzy okay. Bear. Fozzy. 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 Can't remember his name. Gongzo and Fozzy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Lives in the trash. Fozzy bear. would have to be someone. Who would Fozzy be? He's making good Samwise. He would. He's got I feel shaggy like the hair. Hobbits need to be consistent. It's tricky. To, it's a very tricky casting, this. This is difficult. And I, I do think... Are we accepting that Aragorn is the main character? Well, it depends how you define main, isn't it? Well, isn't it? That's yeah. the well, problem, but, but the Muppets it? can re- readjust this slightly. Yeah. Um, and having Aragorn as more of a central character so kind you, of works. Are you saying that all hobbits have to be the same species? The same Muppet species. Isn't there a load of mice? Oh, God. I mean, like they're like half Muppets. They're not like... They're, that's exactly. Like, halflings. That's barely right? a, halflings. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah, very yeah. good. Ah, uh, man. Uh, Swedish chef? Oh, Swedish chef. Um, who did... Um, Who's the king of the elves? <laughs> I know, I'm trying to remember his name. Elrond. Um, Eldrond. Elrond, yeah. Elrond, yeah. <laughs> That'd be quite good. Yeah. Who would be, are there any other lady? Oh, like Beaker. Lady, lady... Beaker and the other scientists. What's the other scientist? Bugson. Uh, Bugson, yeah. and, Bugson, Bugson and Beaker. That could be Merry and Pippin. <laughs> Who are, that, well, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad, actually. Yeah. Who are the ringwraiths? Like the, the the big monsters? Oh, yeah. Who are, the, who are, who are like generic bad guys? Oh, unless bits? Animal and his band... Oh, the fun the, uh, Dr. Teeth and the... Uh, yeah, they're all the ring wraiths. Yeah. And they're like rock stars. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, yeah, That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Oh, um... That means we need to cast the Balrog again. Who, oh, oh, man. Jesus Christ. Who is he? Have um, we got enough Muppets to cast? There wasn't, will be. Wasn't there always... I can't remember his name. He was called, like, Sweetness or something like that. And he was a human-sized Muppet. with. A, he was like the monster with... He had, like, a big mouth. No. no, he's 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 a, he's a, he's an old school Muppet as well, but I'll he's definitely a human. He could be a suit. Balrog. Yeah, because he's big. Okay, great. Yeah, problem solved. He's quite polite, but he's like a big he's like a big monster. Yeah, I like Good. that. That'll do. Um, That'll do. <laughs> damn, I've grown weary of this. <laughs> this is great, though. I I think this is fantastic. I'd be up there. Oh uh, yeah, we'll work. We'll fan cast it. We'll workshop fine. something. A Muppets. Um, I think we need quite a lot to satisfy the Tolkien estate. A very Muppet Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. A load of rings. A load. Who of, who would be the human? Because there's always yeah, you've like got to a, have one yeah. human, haven't you? That's a very good point. Oh, I see. Because Tim Curry's a bit old now, sadly. I don't think he's in the best health. But who do we? What who's role a, do we put the human? Because I think who's a popular human? I think Saruman is the one human. Yes. Or Gandalf. 
Also, no, Gandalf, because it's got to be an old man who is kind of frustrated by the chaos all the Muppets bring, right? So we get Michael Caine back, yeah, and he's Ca- Gandalf. Ga- he won't come. Michael Caine would be amazing as Gandalf, <laughs> but now he is like 108. Like, he's very old You know, it's very fine, because Gandalf's now. very old. It's fine. It's fine. He's like an yeah, yeah. being or whatever the fuck. So it's cool. Michael Caine, we bring him back. Imagine casting a 100-year-old to be in this movie, and he's just like... <laughs> And, um, Why am puppets. I still doing this? And uh, and uh, Sir Michael, this is a three movie deal. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. Wink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just do it like that. Yeah, I'll sign. Yeah. Yeah, we can have a handful of humans as well. <laughs> yeah, we're going to explore this in the sequel, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll be yeah, there. Yeah. Don't you worry. If there's one place I'll be, it's the sequel. <laughs> Don't you worry. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be there. Right, don't you Where worry. Where should I sign? I'll sign here. I'll sign anything you want. When does shooting start? A year? Yeah, yeah, yeah all no right. Worries, yeah, I'll what sign anything you want. production at the moment? Fine, Payment mate. up front, you Fine. say? Fine. Yes, pay me now. Do you, do you want to pass me your cuppy? Yes, yeah, so I haven't finished Woo! my champagne. You haven't finished your champagne? Put more in. What put, are you even here for? Put more in. Put more in my cuppy. Selector. Do they do a... Because uh, obviously you've got like... Uh, I think you have an, a human woman as well. Yes. And that's the conflict between Miss Piggy and the other human. <gasps> so you have Erwin and Arwen. Yeah. Arwen is Miss Piggy. Who's Erwin? Erwin is the... Erwin is the... Um, you know, the woman who cuts bro, the head the bro, off the... bro hear him. Yeah. Oh, she's right. From, she's a lady of Rohan. But she kind of she kind of fancies Aragorn, right? Oh. Of course, nothing ever happens. No. But... She gets with Faramir in the end. She does, you're right, actually. Yeah. But let's not play that down. Faramir is a tricky cast oh, no. as well. Let's just not bother with Faramir's cup, was that? <laughs> oh, I see. I bring the champagne and then I get the less, the well, least. Well, it's very... um. It's there's fine. Some, there's yeah. some in there. There is some. Oh, yeah. There was already some. Well, no, before you even poured it. No, it's fine. I'm sure this is mostly. Pass me uh, my cuppy. No, Which fine. was your cup? Was that your L. cuppy? Were you the L for Legolas? I was L for, yeah. L for Legolas, yes. L for what do L for I see? So, how, how Champagne. Cl- how, do they do like a Muppet uh, Treasure Island where like they have like a human boy as like Frodo? And then he's interacting with I have like, no memory of watching any I have Muppet seen films. Muppet Treasure Island, but I can't remember anything about it. So It's not yes. as good as. Um, it's no I'm going to have to watch Muppet Christmas Carol, aren't I? Well, it's we watch like, we watch it every a year good, as, as yeah. a kind we of a religious. Start, we started experience. our rotation of Christmas films. Really? What did um, you start with? We started the other day with. Well, we watched Home Alone. Oh, that's a good one. Um, we've watched Jingle All the Way. Jingle all the way. Jingle, Jingle all the way. It's a soft way. Jingle All the Way is the best Christmas film. It's don't at me. There is no reason for it to be called Jingle All the Way. Correct. It Liz, should be called said exactly that. Turbo Man at Christmas. <laughs> yeah, it should. <laughs> Or she said it. They said um, something else. A very, turbo Man's Big Turbo Christmas. A very Turbo yeah. Man. A very Turbo Christmas. Something like that. Yes. Liz came up with something that was much better, which I can't remember now. Jingle but all the turbos. Absolutely correct. It should not be called that. They just needed it to be Christmassy, so they just said, they said that. Just "Call it Jingle All the Way." That's fine. That's and then fine. put jingle bells in it once or twice. Yeah, that's yep. what they did. Mm. It's a great film. Though. It's a good movie. I love it. I will give that. Is it? A crunchy star. Always works, it's, you're saying? It's gloriously terrible. Okay. Is what I would say. Yeah. Is it actually good? Arnold Schwarzenegger is in it. Yeah. He's in the, the film. The best I'm part about that film is his name is Howard. <laughs> and they never once reference the fact he's an Austrian man. Howard, Howard Schwarzenegger. Howard. It was like that. Howard Langston or something. Oh, yeah. yeah it's like yeah. a very traditional American name. He's like, hello, I'm Howard Langston. Does he work for like a mattress company yeah. or something? And yeah. You're my number one customer. Number one customer. They never want. And his wife in it is Tom Hanks' wife, like, wife yes. right? Teresa Wilson. Yeah. Uh, and knowledge. the guy who voiced Lionel Hutz is in it. Yes, yes, he's the next door neighbour who's really weird. Yeah, yeah. I we watched think... that. That was great. I enjoyed Home Alone as well. I've not. I'm not. I've watched Home Alone. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not overly familiar with it. I, sw- I, sw- I, I haven't quote, seen Home Alone in years. I, I couldn't quote every line. To I you. really think I've only seen like Home Alone like once. It's very, it's very oh, enjoyable. Yeah. Which yeah. one is Donald Trump in? Is he in a second, second one? one yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a relief. We didn't have to. Yeah. No, that. it's it's very enjoyable. Home Alone. Feeding. The uh, we, we watched the holiday. Oh, um, really? I haven't seen The it's, Holiday. The Holiday is a winter film. It's not a Christmas film. Okay. And I'll die on that hill. That's fine. I don't care. Um, I'll tell you when. I, where, I'll tell Elf you. will watch. There's Elf a, is There's good. a terrible Hallmark movie called Christmas Inheritance, which again is terrible, but we watch it every year. Really? And I'll continue that forever and ever. I'll tell you. Or what, until Netflix takes it. Can I tell you exactly where I was when I watched The Holiday? Sure. Well, the first time. I've only watched it once. I see. I was on, I was about eight hours out of Calgary. Yeah. Uh, when Holton and I were on a 56 hour bus journey. Oh, they had a telly on the bus. Oh, yeah. Oh. It wasn't on all the time. That's a good But bus. at some point, out, of, like, out hey, of nowhere, everyone. we're going to watch for holiday now. Right, good. You've been on this bus for 48 you, you hours. You didn't have a choice. Yeah. 
Now I like to watch uh, some Jude Law bullshit. I never knew that they played movies on that coach. I've heard this story a number of times. Yeah, no, they, I they, never knew that they they put movies on. Well, but I think uh, I think that was the only movie they played. Is it really bad? I did not care for it. I, I see. It, I, it's, it's I fairly, have not seen it. It's fairly boy meets girl. So on, so and forth. then romance, romance, romance. Yeah, in different I guess ways. like Jack Black's in it. Kate oh, Winslet's that's the one it. that Jack Black's in. But he's being like super, like he's like very, he's like a sexy, but not that you know a different kind of sexy. He's like the the chubby sexy. Yeah, because Jack Black's kind of like a sexy man because he's got that kind of like raw energy. He really yeah. does. But in this, he's more like refined. Yeah, I see. It's yeah. like a charming Jack Black. Charming Jack Black. Yeah, like, yeah. He did used to do. But his the character talks like about his love of movies quite a lot. He, I think he scores movies. The character. He's a musician, isn't he? Yeah. Like, Maybe he it's plays... in the same universe as Be Kind Rewind. Yeah. 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 Sure. Sure. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. I don't... Yeah. Is Kate Winslet? Kate Winslet. Jude Law. Kate Winslet. Jude, Jude Law. Law is. I don't have a lot of time for Jude Law. Sure. Uh, Cameron about... Diaz is in it. Oh, is she the other lady? Cammy D. Yeah, and then before they got famous, Catherine Hahn is in it. Oh, really? Um, and um, shit, what's his name? Jim from The Office. Oh, Krasinski. John, John Krasinski, Krasinski is in it. Before they right. were famous, they'd like have very minor parts in it. Huh? Yeah. So right is, the star. is uh, so Cameron Diaz is the is the American she's lady. The American lady. So they have a house swap. Yeah. So she's sent over That's to like right. a quaint little cottage in the I've UK, and then Kate Winslet moves into her. Uh, like, like LA apartment. flat or she, something. Cameron Diaz's character writes scripts for trailers. What? And that's then, not a real job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then, and then, uh, the the voiceover trailer guy keeps like t- popping up now and then to talk about what Cameron Diaz's life is like. Right, there. right. I forgot. In a world yeah. I forgot where a Cameron this. Diaz yeah, has gone to a queen. This is not, yeah. This is a movie that like. It's a, it's a bit people, all over the place. This is a movie that Hollywood people make for themselves as a joke, like between as a tax on, on, Yeah, on a weekend. People watch you know. it. People watch you it. People swear by the holiday. Like yeah. they say, it's their favorite Christmas. People movie. watch it. It's we, not a Christmas movie. It's a winter movie. Sorry, but that's, sorry but that's, sir. That's, but that's fine. We I'm need char- We need characters that the audience can connect with. Like you know, real down to earth normal. Christmas people. isn't even in that movie. So let's right. get let's get somebody. New Year's Eve is in that movie. Well, Christmas is not in the movie. Would you be quiet for just Christmas is not in the movie? Awful, awful man. It's a winter movie. It doesn't matter. I don't. I don't care. No, I get anymore. what you're saying. Yeah, like okay, it's so... not relatable everyday characters. It's people who are in Hollywood who relate to these yeah. characters. You know, yes. it's, it's a it's a classic. I write Roma. scripts for trailers. Oh. It's one of the seven great stories. You know, a the Hollywood is. script writer <laughs> and a Hollywood score composer yeah. fall in love in an English cottage. Jesus. It's fine. That always happens. Christmas movie. Christmas winter movie. <laughs> Christmas isn't even mentioned in it. I did that to rile you up. But one scene. Even, there's no even Christmas in it. But one scene I remember. There's snow in it. Is when. <laughs> Cameron Diaz, you yeah. gonna let me finish? Oh yeah, yeah. Get spunk in her hair. Cameron Diaz, that's yeah, a different, that's, scene. <laughs> that's a good scene. <laughs> Cameron Diaz arrives at this English cottage, gets spunk in her hair, <laughs> you know. And then you might need to apologise for this bit. Maybe a spunk drunk was... Jude what? Law walks oh, in. Yes. He's drunk and he's and naked. he falls asleep on the sofa. Oh, he's not. Okay. Uh, and then yeah. when he wakes up the following morning. He's very much like, oh gosh, hello, sorry, I didn't notice you there. I'm oh, very British. I'm just a lovable British no, clumsy I think, buffoon. I think he turns up drunk and they have sex. Jesus. Not right off the bat. I think so. No, I, th- I surely not. Oh, uh, I mean, surely not. No, surely not. Because he's a he's a he's a charming English I'm, buffoon. I'm pretty sure. Because literally, happens. I think like his first line of dialogue is, oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't see you there. That's, Occasionally, yeah. I was down the pub having a few beers. You know, after my wife yeah. died and I raised I raised my two angelic children alone. Yeah. Anyway, I'm very <laughs> You've single. You've seen this more than once. I'm very single. I am How are hyper you? Hyper single. Yeah. yeah. Also, I drive. And in then, but then he, there's a hilarious misunderstanding where like he gets a call from like a woman, <gasps> a, a woman's woman. name p- pops up on his phone, and then cheeks like. Cameron Diaz is like, oh god, he's talking to this woman, and then to woman. It turns mom. out to be his kids. Plot uh, twist. Plot. That is a huge plot twist. That yeah. is catastrophic narrative damage. Yeah. So there we go. <laughs> so that works out quite well for them. And then they uh, they sort of get together. So is both the conceit, couples get together? Is the conceit that the ladies swap? Yes. Yes. And they're both like a little heartbroken or little love lost in a yeah. weird way. And they get with the relative other man. Yeah. In, it's, in the it's, life it's, of the it's other woman. Literally, pretty much, like yeah. it's like it, the. The, the the male characters just like are delivered they into just the movie. Yeah, yeah, they just yeah. kind of turn up like. Um... So because Jack Black, Jack Black is the American man. <laughs> He's yes. an American. Man, Hello, yeah. I'm an American man. Yeah, kind like of like that for example. Yeah. That's pretty good actually. But he's yeah, very he's charming. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, he's like, hi. Hi, I'm an American I'm, man. I'm inexplicably sexy, Jack Black. And Kate Winslet's just rocked up in his LA apartment. Yeah. Yes. And he's, and he's also there. And there's always some, because there's, there's, like Jude Law 
it's like he's Cameron. He's Kate. He's, he's Kate's brother. brother. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Okay. So, so he kind of like forgot that his sister had done a house share, and he just rocks swap. up. Yeah, just turns up. He's slightly, like, slightly merry because he'd been down. Down you know, the pool. Down, down the arms pool. path, rather I'll be dark. down the old... I went down, down the arms path. That would have been a bold pub. direction for him to take it in. Yeah. yeah. You're right. It's called, it's called <laughs> Let me holiday. get a butcher's hook at what's going on around here. Yeah. It's called the holiday. It should be called Down to Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Hello, it's me, Jude Hello, Law. I'm Jude Law. And I've, been, it's me, Jude I've Law. been for a few pints of ale, and now here I am. Couple of bevies with lads. Oh, <laughs> take care, lambs on road. Don't tonight. worry, I know where Oda is. <laughs> Hello, Cameron. <laughs> Hello, Cameron. Hey, no, my what's, not called Cameron. What's no going worries. on here yeah, then? Don't stop shooting. I'll carry on with this. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> Cameron. I look yeah. forward to introducing you to my two angelic Jude, kids. Yeah. Jude. Sorry Jude. if I'm a bit, if I'm a bit easy around the edges. Jude. I was doing a vlog. <laughs> Dude, down at Volker Revs. Her character name is Leanne. Stop calling her Cameron. I was, I was, down, the, I was down the local Volker Revs playing Julie Volker Roulette. <laughs> with, lo- with lots of the local high school children. <laughs> yeah, that kind of thing. That sort of thing. You never get that. It's never like um, English b- fellas they're in always American buffoons. movies. No, they're, they're, buffoons. They're, always, they're always charmingly befuddled. Hugh Grant. Yeah. yeah. Hugh Grant That's has a lot to answer for. Yeah. Really. He's a he's a glorious man now. I love you, Graham. Yeah, right. Yeah, I love how he's gone from being like I love him fop to now just being like he just hates everything. Yeah, like, he's just but he just plays funny characters. He was in, in the movies. Dungeons and Dragons movie. Yeah, he and he doesn't... fucking smashed it. Yeah, well, in Paddington too. Really? Oh, he's great in Paddington too. Oh, god, oh, national treasure. He's unbelievable Fuck in Paddington too. We should get Paddington an Oscar for that. Two best supporting actor. More like Paddington Tube. Yeah, feed me more. Pad- Hugh Grant. <laughs> Paddington Carve Hugh. me off a slice. <laughs> Paddington Hugh. Paddington Hugh Grant. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Um, That's remember, a real remember joke. Remember when the show had a format? No. no. I've got hate. I've got hate. Nick, you back off. This <laughs> is my time. This is mine. This is my time to shine. Cheers, all the best. Um, the reason I jumped in quickly is because I don't Please know. Jump in. I don't know how much leg. Room. Work. There we go. <laughs> I finished the legs. I don't know how many legs this how hate legs? has, but how I really hate it. Three legs. But I, like, we could just get this over with. You know, you just bash through this hate. Yeah. Yeah. We've already talked. Let's get back to winter it. movies. So I fucking hate it when someone's wandering around town and mm. they're just blasting music out of their backpack. That is bad. Yeah, what the fuck? What? There are headphones. Yeah. Headphones exist. I find that weird. I find what? it. I find it weird that someone's in their head would go. Oh yeah, people probably want to hear what Prob- I'm people, to. It doesn't really matter whether it's the greatest fucking song in the world. Plus, it's plus it's worse audio quality for them. Yes, it's worse. It's it's just the worst audio quality because it's coming out of some tinny shitty speaker. Yeah, I don't care if you've got a Beats pill. A what? Mm. I think that's what they're called. Or it's like a Beats, Beats. Por- portable speaker thing. Beats. Oh, by, like a, by Dre. By Dre. By Dre. Yeah. yeah. It's he's like, not made it. He's not an engineer. Yeah, he made it. He's, no. a, he's an audio technical engineer. He's more man. of a surgeon. Wait, so Doctor Doctor Dre, the Doctor Dre, has put out a product which is a pill. Well, it looks like a pill. People call it, it a pill. I've I've been, not, even I know it has it been around for like fifteen years. Yeah, it's been around a long <laughs> I've time. I've never heard of a pill. <laughs> yeah. So like, it do- looks like it's a portable speaker, but it looks like a big, you know, like Doctor Mario and his pills. Yeah. It looks like one of those. So literally, Doctor Dre and his pills. Doctor Doctor Dre Mario. He, Doctor, can, yes. he can give you a he prescription. He can give you a big suppository. When he drops a new track, does he call it like a prescription? You yes, know? He, should, he, does, yeah. he, should, he should because he's a doctor legally, yeah. right? Someone in marketing needs to come up with that. So such a thing as a Dr. Dre pill, I don't know. Yeah. I don't think it's officially called that. I don't. Beats by Dre pill. Beats pill. A pill of beats. Yeah. Either way, jam that in your backpack. Even <laughs> even that is still going to be very tinny, very like... Yeah, tss, tss, yeah. Tss, well, it's I'd, pointless. You know, maybe... It's fucking pointless. Maybe he really emphasises the bass on his pills. He probably you know? does. He's quite, yeah, he's quite bass-centric. Playing it out loud when you're walking on your own down the street is absolutely pointless. It's pathetic. Nobody thinks it's cool. No. Fact. Well. Do you? No. You don't think it's cool. But then again, well. I've never walked down with a pill in my back, you know? Mm, no. Different I'm, kind of pill. Pill up yeah. your bum. Suppository. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I was walking down the street just the other day. I was walking down the street. Yeah, that sounds like a Dr. Dre. Dre song. That could be a Dr. Dre lyric. Could be. It? I was walking, walking down, down the street, the street with my Beats by yeah. pills. Yeah. Wait, what? Um, and there was a man in front of me, 
Mm. with a blasting backpack, oh, as I'm going to call it. <laughs> he sounds really cool. A blast pack. Was, he had a blast pack on. Yeah. yeah. And there was tunes coming out. I couldn't tell you what they were because they were very muffled, very tinny, but also very loud somehow, simultaneously. Mm. And he was walking at the exact same speed as me, which was frustrating. Yeah. Uh, because I was walking quite quickly and I don't think I could have gone... You can't speed up. I couldn't have gone faster, yeah. even if I wanted you to. You can't speed up. Um, and I was with someone else mm. and we were having a conversation and we had to stop talking so because we couldn't hear each other over this man's backpack. It's, mm. it's very, it's they have very Bluetooth anti-social. headphones now. They do also by Dre. Also by Dre. By Dre, sure. Yeah, yeah. I have Bluetooth headphones. That I got free of my phone. They're very good, um, and I just use them. And the sound quality is wonderful. I don't bother anybody. It sounds better for you. It sounds better for me. It doesn't disturb anyone else. Yeah, it's a win-win. Nobody knows that I'm listening to the Pitch Perfect soundtrack. <laughs> so well, they do now. Well. They do. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> No, genuinely, on the way here. <laughs> it's a great soundtrack. I listened to the Pitch Perfect 2 soundtrack. Sure, sure. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not even kidding. No, no, it's fine. I, no, it's a good I, yeah. Oh, that was uh, Britney's Toxic. That was Britney, yeah. Britney's Toxic. By the Bellas. By, 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 by the Bellas. By the Barton yeah. Bellas. Yeah. Show me the video for that song. She has toxic. four costume changes. It's yeah. the Airhostess video. Yeah, one it? of them she's very naked. Sure. Covered in diamonds. Yeah. Which, everyone, count as a which everyone remembers. No, probably not. No. Just that they stuck a load of gems on her, I guess. Yeah. But the last costume, she's like a sort of superhero moth. Do you remember uh, that? No, not really. So there you go. Uh, nope. That was they good. never use that thumbnail, do they? They no. don't. They no. use the air hostess or the naked one. Yeah. And there's another one. I think she's like a, bl- a, bl- a biker. I, know said. I think she's a biker in like uh, in leathers. Mm. I see. Yes. Those are the four costumes. But the moth one is pretty cool. We should see more of that. Actually pretty cool. Well, 90s cool. 90s so no. cool. Was it, not, was it early two thousands? Early two thousands, was it? I would say Toxic came out in two thousand and one. Oh, I'm gonna Google it. If I was guessing, dun, what, dun, a dun, dun, what a dun, year dun, for music. Yeah. Do you reckon when they do like the you're gonna be naked in this scene apart from like some diamonds? Diamonds. Do you think they actually like artfully apply them, or do they just like toss her in like a Scrooge McDuck <laughs> kind of uh, super glue? Yeah, they just yeah. cover her in syrup or something, mm. and they just yeah. roll her in, in like a Swarovski market. <laughs> Uh, 2003. Oh, shit. wow! That's later than I thought. Mm. You can uh, you can get these kind of like confectionery gems that you can like, eat. Yeah, they look like precious stones, but they're actually kind of like soft. Maybe and she gummy. was covered in those. Could yeah. be. Could be anything. And then and then you know because it's, it's a long long day of filming. If her energy gets low, just ooh, yeah, it's just delicious. be careful where she pulls them from though. Yeah, yeah you need not the nippies. No, you don't gotta, go there. Got to yeah. go up her ass. Yeah, that's... <laughs> That's where yeah. the flavour collects. Don't yeah. pluck from the cleft, yeah. as they say. Yeah. I, I <laughs> they do say that. That's where they live by. If you actually look uh, closely, they're actually like um, Maynard's wine gums that are glued all over her body. Are they? Yeah. They catch the light quite impressively, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, wine yeah. gums are they're beautiful. They are beautiful. Yeah. They, yeah. They, well, they you'd are, think so, anyway. They come over well on film, don't they? They really do. Wine yeah. gums, I would say. We uh, bought a coffee earlier, oh, yes. like you do. Today. And there was a snack treat by the cash oh, registrar there was, yeah. called mm. an urban fruit. <laughs> Oh, yeah. What is an urban fruit? Well, apparently, it's like a baked fruit, but it kind of like. Why is it urban? Well, that's the question, isn't it? That just yeah. sounds cool for the sake of being cool. I think it yeah. does. To yeah. be honest, you can say like anything's urban. Urban fruit by Dre. Yeah. Urban um, vaccines. Yeah. You know, it just sounds like really like you know get the kids involved. That would probably would have appealed to the young people. Like, urban yeah. vaccines. You can yeah, go for one of those mm. urban vaccines. Urban getting a good education and settling down. <laughs> yeah. You know. Oh man. Oh, that sounds yeah. well good. Oh, oh, I, can't, oh, I can't wait. Oh, that. bro, that sounds that's sick, that's blood. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming out on Fortnite. <laughs> yeah. Urban staying in school. Yeah. 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 Urban getting an education. Yeah. We right. got, uh, now, you two live relatively locally. I live to, about five. To, to, where, to where we are now. In Cool Town. In yeah. Cool Town. I'm about five minute walk. Indeed, that's great. Grip it and rip it. I will. Woo! <laughs> Um, it's Christmas. So, have you Kinda. received in the post? Because I know that. Oh, we have I know what you're going to say. The, Rishi, uh, a personal letter from our prime minister. Yeah, How do you know that I have? Because I haven't. Well, this was why I'm asking. Oh, I thought you yeah. said that because we have. I well, no, my, I was talking wife. about. I was talking about my wife. I assume yeah. that I sort of superseded your wife. Well, when you're talking about I have known that. her longer. Oh, but not as long as Chris Ray. No, <laughs> I've known you the longest. When I said we, I meant me and Chris Ray. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. feel very left out now. Yeah. I uh, haven't uh, received this letter. I well, I'm very it was on the floor when I came down for lunch earlier. I didn't read it. No. But I did notice. I mean, it. we're not going to read it, are we? Well, my point is... What was it? Well, uh, hello, it, we're putting taxes up. Hello. No, no. And again, like, this is... Bastard. Gonna, now, it's, this is an apolitical discussion. Yeah, we're I'm, very I, I'm merely, I'm merely saying that as a, as a UK we're citizen... We're allowed to declare a political position. 
No, no, my point. No, is... we are on this show. Yeah. We're allowed to talk. The Tories. The... Here we go. Have ruined this country. They've, ru- they've ruined this country. Like and I'm going to ruin the you. The next election can't come soon enough. <laughs> I'll ruin you. Like I'm ruining the Tories this are your friends until they get in, and then they'll fucking crush you. Yeah, you tell them, Chris. What's Ray. important to know is that we we've, we've we've been under. I don't think I'm supposed to declare a position though. No, it's fine. I, I, I think that was okay. I, no, it's fine. Well, well, no. I mean, you that haven't. Ship That's a very like ambiguous statement. I don't. Think, I don't think anyone no, can take no, that out no, of context. No, context no. Really. no, I mean, but you know, 14 years of um, this rule was really no one left to blame. Yeah. Is anyway, the country is on fire. Anyway, the point is, they try. Uh, we've had now again a political. Apolitical. Apolitical. But we have received a personal letter. I believe most UK citizens have probably received a yes. personal letter. Hand must have, you must have a sort of wrist. Hand you, the amount of these letters he's been signing and he's, the wanking, obviously. He's, like, wanking. he's like a reverse um, Santa Claus, isn't he? In, giving what, out, in what way? Well, he's giving out because shit. Because normally like, we send letters yeah. to Santa yeah. Claus. But he sends oh, letters I, to I, us. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. So every UK citizen... Also, he doesn't have a beard. No. No, that's true. anti claws When did we last have a bearded Prime Minister? That's a great Aside question. from Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> maybe, it's, maybe it's not very... Oh, come on. Oh. We've got jokes, everybody. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait sorry, just, sorry. A, apolitical. Maybe apolitical. it's not very We might as well just stop there. Yeah. We're not going to beat that. Why well, do I feel like Victorian era, you'd expect Beards. a Prime Minister to have a beard. You know, when Beards. did it change? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, this letter. Anyway, so every UK citizen has apparently received a letter Jesus from the Christ. Prime Minister. It's like from your, fr- your friend Rishi, it says. Oh, and your it, sick buddy Rishi. And so it's got a letter, two sides of A4. Wow. Kind of just about how have you good. Read, have you read it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you have read about it. how good everything is. Nice. It's Everything's not, great. It's lies. And then it comes with a two page questionnaire oh. that they want you to fill out to oh. send back to Rishi so get he can fucked. get your feedback. That's on the it. answer to what, what do you want feedback on? Well, some of the questions are uh, gloriously unscientific because, you know, we're collecting data here. Sure. But, like, like, for example, I'm paraphrasing here, but question six will be like, now, undoubtedly, the economy is really great. The economy is awesome. How much do you agree with this statement? And it's like... It starts from and it's like, strongly agree. <laughs> strongly agree. Agree. Somewhat agree. Don't have an opinion. Yeah. Oh, my God. There's no negative... Yeah. Yeah. And then they'll just they'll just pick out the data that helps them. It's irrelevant. All they'll do is they'll take the results of that survey, because some people will fill it in, because they've got nothing going on. Um, some people love it. And they'll take the data that works for them, and they'll just use that. The rest of it doesn't matter. Yeah. So what's the point in filling out a survey? One of the, question, one of the questions near the end of that survey is... Uh, ignoring politics, ignoring mm. policy, merely focusing on the human being. Mm. Who would you prefer to be prime minister? That's literally. I like the idea that there's question 19A, is <laughs> ignoring politics, ignoring policy. Who would win in a fight between <laughs> Rishi Sunak? Yeah. That's pretty much. That's pretty much what it's asking. And I'd still back Keir Starmer. <laughs> Look at this photo. It's like Rishi Sunak like pumping iron. Yeah. He's like. <laughs> Do, do you agree this man is totally shredded? Yeah. Like, he has deep. a strength stat of nine. Righteously yeah. vascular. <laughs> it's a weird question to ask because I would still say Keir Starmer. Yeah. yeah. Genuinely, if you forget the politics and all that. Yeah. He's got number questions. He's a more likable bloke. It's very hard it's to like, forget all politics and everything, though. That's it's, always, oh, it's incredible. It's incredible. But, you look, but it's like you look over, like, one, one question is like, like undoubtedly, undoubtedly. Uh, undoubtedly, we've improved the country, but like, <laughs> what more improvements would you like to see? And it gives you like, it's like more excellent but by, schools, by, uh, <laughs> yeah. more improvements. More, but by, yeah. by then putting something like that, it will say 68% of people agree that schools are excellent. Yeah. That's yeah. what that is. Yeah. By, by yeah, yeah. answering that question, you're legitimising yeah. it. So the best thing we can do is Ign- not do it. Is ignore yeah. it, but nobody will. But then you keep and going. Then they'll use the stats anyway. But then you keep going down the list, and then like it gets more and more like deranged. Like there's just a picture. <laughs> of, you wait it... six months till you see all these stats. Yeah, there's right. just a picture of Rishi Sunak like crushing a can of Heineken on yeah. his forehead. Yeah, and there's not even a question. No, it just yeah. goes like yeah. <laughs> agree or disagree. It, it just says lad, and there's just <laughs> one box next to it, and you just yeah. say, you just tick it. There's two identical pictures <laughs> yeah. of Rishi Sunak topless. It just yeah. says spot the difference. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and then there's a join the dots, and, and, the, it... and the answer is always I was less erect on the second one. <laughs> That's fun... always the answer. It's Could finish on the second one. Yeah, it's like yeah. a photo of like not, like not after such a short space of time. <laughs> there's, no. a, there's a photo of like like a like a. a, a... Like a, a stadium and like football fans mm. cheering, and there's like Rishi Sunak in the middle of it cheering, and it's yeah. just a sign that just says your football team here. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Rishi Sunak likes all the things that you like. Yeah, yeah. You he know that, you know that team, team you support. Well, Rishi likes that team yeah. too. He remembers such memorable occasions as the 1999 playoff final. <laughs> yeah, or the goals. <laughs> and, uh, that 2-1 win you enjoyed. <laughs> I did enjoy that 2-1 yeah, win. I did, I really did. I did enjoy I that. I really did He is so... One. I feel like I could have a beer with Rishi soon. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, we now, could just please, hang en- out. please enjoy this low-res JPEG of Rishi doing a sick kegger. Yeah. <laughs> 
I would love to go for a nine pound pint with Rishi. I think. Oh, hell's yeah, I would love yeah. That. Plus, he definitely knows how a contactless machine works. Yeah, yeah that, it, as, that is to say, he does not. No, and he put his card up against a barcode scanner. He did do that. So, yeah. and so he also filled up someone else's car. Yeah, which is cool. When he was doing a petrol photo shoot. He definitely doesn't have a hatch. It was bike. like a, a <laughs> Nissan Micro. <laughs> Like a red thing, and he was filling it up, and they were like, "That's not your car." You have like, a Bentley, don't you? Like, Let's be no, honest. it wasn't. No, my car. I'm sorry. Plus, but, what is contactless? Yeah. They have a. Um, I think it's a photo that did the rounds in the newspapers, very clearly sketch, mm. which is where he's like sitting on a bench. Have you seen this photo? No. It's like no, it's like his lunch. So. It's like his lunch break. Oh sure. So he's like sitting. He's in oh, his suit. Oh, he's wearing yeah. a suit. Oh, yeah, he just goes to the park. He's sitting yeah. on a bench, and he's like he's looking at some notes or something. Passages. And then there's like a can of Sprite. Like on the on the yeah. on the on the loves kind of bench of next loves to it, and half a Snickers, like very like artfully Posed. kind yeah. of. Uh, you can just uh, imagine place. like yeah. thirty-seven people were involved in that shoot. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The yeah. thing is, enough. This always boggles my mind. I appreciate we all work to a degree in marketing, but the amount of the amount of people who think that must work, and the amount of times it must work for it to be. Oh, done. It, it is, works for is, more people than it does. It's mind-boggling. Yeah. To me, he's just like us. He's just not one of us. But I don't, that photo, to me, just says nothing. It says that someone thinks those are normal things to do. Yeah. Like no one a... leaves a half-eaten Snickers bar on a park bench arm. You wouldn't half-eat a Snickers bar and then put it down on a bench. Not in London. Yeah. Not, fuck, not, not anywhere. Not anywhere. Not in cool town. Definitely not in London. I, the, thing I, the way my brain works is that like they had like a... Because, again, it's not the biggest image of the world, but they got like a green Sprite mm. can. I mean, I like Sprite. And it's like it's rotating. I'll vote, I'll such vote for him actually because he, I, I he like, likes Sprite. I like but he's sitting there in such a way where you can see the green of the can and you can see the S. But you can't see the whole logo. It's, it's not yeah. absolutely 100. percent But a my but my thinking uh, my thinking <laughs> like was like if it had been genuine and say he like had rotated the can the wrong way, mm. so you just got like the legal information. Someone might be going like, why is he having a beer? At like yeah. the middle of the day, so they had to like artfully twist it. Sure. Had to make people but know so you could see the whole logo, but so you could see that it was people sprite. know it's yeah. a sprite, but they can't endorse a sprite. Exactly. And they probably thought to themselves like, "What's the safest drink?" I mm. bet they they thought about everything. Like, what's yeah. the safest drink? What's the safest chocolate oh, bar? Oh, there's yeah. no chance they they wouldn't have. What paper that, was he so. reading? Uh, well, he was. He looked like he was taking notes. Taking like, notes like, in a little notepad about like a clipboard, what? Kind of, well, I don't know. What if he's on his lunch break? Well, I, I don't. Let's get a fucking life. I don't have an important job. You know. If I'm eating a, eating a sprite, if you're eating, eating, a, a sprite. eating a Snickers and drinking a sprite, I'm not taking notes. Yeah. He what might be. He about? might be ranking the sprites he's had. They like, could have been like today's sprite oh, was. Oh, why does this work? Because that's not that's not a great lunch. Like on its own. And it's not a Snickers lunch. and a sprite, no. But if he was like, what else? They could have? be thinking like, well, we can't have him eating a sandwich. Oh, but he, we don't no, want an Ed Miliband situation. Miliband, you yeah. don't want a Miliband situation. No, he can eat a sandwich because he eats things that begin with S, clearly, because he likes Sprites and Snickers. Oh, that's true. So yeah. he probably would like a sandwich or a Subway. Yeah, I could. Oh, could have a man. Subway, yeah. Yeah. Now, no hey, noodles. hey, now, if I saw a potential Prime Minister just hogging down <laughs> a on, a, on a foot long. Yeah. yeah, just like sword swallowing a foot long sandwich. A foot long cold cut trio. Yeah. You know, like straight I'd, from Subway uh, Eat Fresh. Straight from Subway Eat Fresh. <laughs> I'd be like, you know what? This, guy's, this guy speaks to this me. This guy yeah. is votable. Uh, Whoa, what's that? Hearty Italian. Whoa, stop the presses. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa, you choose the most this, generic bread type. This awesome. guy gets us. <laughs> I thought he was all hoity toity. But look, he's not even put light mayonnaise on it. He chooses the bread we choose. Yeah. Hey, I walked past the subway once. That guy's like me. I'm going to vote for him. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> apolitical. Ape- 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm I mean, not. 14 years of this shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's fuck Cheers all the best. Political. Cheers all the best. Fuck the Tories. All right. Oh, oh, that was right. my hate. <laughs> my four pound can of red stripe. <laughs> Ooh, fuck the Tories. Yeah, I agree the speakers. Fuck the Tories. I ex- Merry Christmas, dickheads. <laughs> I agree the speakers shouldn't be played aloud in public. And fuck the Tories. And fuck the Tories. And don't bar the Snickers on a park bench, you dumbo. Hey, I, I feel like I have to be the voice of reason here. And I, I just want to yes. say that um, uh, I'm sure that when they were having that party. The Christmas party. You know, oh, God, this is getting heavy now. And I'm sure that when This is the worst it. Christmas episode I've ever heard yeah. in my life. Well, they had a Christmas party, didn't they, <laughs> they during did, lockdown? Yeah. They did. Yeah. 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 My grandparents were dying in a fucking care home. But no, that's cool. That's cool. Have, have your party. That's grand. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. But no, apolitical. Apolitical. We're apolitical. We don't have strong feelings. We don't express on the this on this podcast. I've got hate. We're funded by the BBC. Yeah, I mean, my hate was... Fuck, yeah, go on. That's no, fine. Yeah, I've got hate. I feel like <laughs> this is going to descend into fuck the Tories as well. Well, to be, be fair, like, no, no, no. It was I like, hate the Tories. No, it's a Christmas episode. Christmas. We're having a good time. This, this. We need an enemy at Christmas. This is the worst Christmas episode I've ever read in my life. Who's, well, I, who's the Scrooge? The I, Tories are the Scrooge. And I watched the holiday. <laughs> I'm so glad. It's I a winter film. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's the worst Christmas I've ever had. I'm yeah. so glad I could spend it with you two. Yeah. Fucks. Cheers. Well, we're learning the meaning of Christmas. We start with the Tories. Crack on. Anyway, yeah. I've got a hate, and it go. wasn't going to be Christmas related. I'm going to play this episode to my family on Christmas Day. Great. <laughs> Me too, actually. They're going to yeah. enjoy yeah. it. They're going to well, hate look, it. Okay, this isn't Christmas related because up until like 50 minutes ago, I didn't think we were doing a Christmas episode. I don't want excuses, Joe. So this is result. Okay, so I hate First Amendment auditors. Jesus Christ. First Amendment auditors. Have you heard of this? Nope. Fucking Christ. Is this Christmas? Is it? Yes, yeah, Christmas. Eve. Okay. It's, it's I now admit, admittedly, wasn't the um the Bill of Rights written at Christmas? I thought yes. I thought was the it? First Amendment no was. I locked. thought it was. Was it? I don't know. Don't keep te- looking at me. Which no. one's the Bill of Rights? The main one. What the we're talking about the Constitution. What were you talking about? Constitution. Constitution. Yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. They're interchangeable. Written at Christmas. I don't understand any of this. First Amendment. Yeah, that's the free speech. Free speech one. Sure. Yeah. Locked in. Locked in. It's locked in. Well, it was the First Amendment, so it yeah, wasn't yeah, yeah. there originally. But it was. They, it was an amendment. It's the first thing they which added. is already the hilarious yeah. aspect to how. So what was defensive there? What about. was it before? I there wasn't. It wasn't couldn't there. Couldn't say shit. I suppose. No. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Couldn't say that. Couldn't say that. No. That's too too hot Not on a t- podcast. Too hot for TV. So they added an amendment. Yes. First Amendment. Yes. Day two. And now there's auditors. Okay. So First Amendment auditors are, Jesus. well, let's just call them what they are. Content creators oh. who, in the interests of, oh, no. well, free oh, speech, I see. I see. have, this is bizarre, almost like as a sport, oh. will exclusively because there, there, there's many things that free speech can mean sure but they seem to have drilled down on purely uh people the right who, people to who are being film. racist no no it's not that no it, it's like the right to film and record mm. footage because right. that's apparently like protected by the first amendment right so they will deliberately some would say provocatively mm. take take a camera right and just go to a place Right. That they know is going to provoke a reaction sure. and right. start filming. Yeah. Okay, you can't just film anywhere you want. Well, apparently you can. Can you? Can't you? I, I don't think know. you could. Well, you can't in the UK. I think technically you can oh, do whatever I'll you want it in America. Yeah. I mean, well, in America, technically yeah. you can do whatever you the, want. The way it works in the UK is that you need to sign a release. Yes. If you're going to film someone that's going, to, then that footage is going to be put out like publicly. Yeah. You need mm. to have got the release documents from the person you're filming. Yeah. That's why a lot of people's faces are blurred. Indeed. Yes. Now, uh, I also know that if you were shooting a movie on a street, on the busy streets of Cool Town, you would have to apply for a like a permit or a license Agreed. to do that. Mm. 100%. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, don't know how it works in America. I don't understand a lot of the amendments, but apparently these this well, let's just call them you know these content creators who are hungry for attention. Sure. Will go to a place like they might. Go... Let's call them losers. Just for losers. Just for yeah. Okay. The so these losers will uh, <laughs> wankers. Just... Take wankers a camera. Like wankers, 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 wankers is pretty cool. Yeah. Call them wankers. Apolitical. 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 Yeah. Okay. These okay. wankers anyway. Yeah, these wankers. They'll um, they'll just get a camera, and maybe they'll just march into your house, Nick. My house. Hello. Uh, yes. And they'll just Surely start filming. They, they don't walk into okay, people's so houses. Do they walk into people's houses? They sure. Uh, don't. no, but they might just like just walk into my garden. Go up to a oh I don't know a supermarket. Okay, and I'm filming. in the supermarket. Yeah, I might just start filming. People. Buying my usual twenty melons a week. Yeah, you're crying in the melon aisle. Well, I, I only cry. I've only cried once. I only cried yeah. when they when they didn't have 20. when they didn't have the melons. They had nineteen. They had available. nineteen melons. I needed my twentieth melon. So, so you yeah. know, like if if <laughs> if you're back at school and like a bully would like come up to you and like be like, "I'm not touching you." I'm can't get annoyed. Can't, can't, can't get mad. Can't get mad. Can't get mad. It's like that. Like if someone just came up to you in the yeah. street and stuck a camera in your face, yeah. you can't get annoyed at me. I'm just filming. so technically I couldn't like throw the camera across the street. No, then I'd be the bad guy. Because what they're trying to do, their big thing is to basically annoy. Uh, employees or citizens oh, I see. They enough go for that. Mm. until they call the police. Right. And what then they can go, ha ha, First Amendment. Yes, tickets. yes. No, it's the thing. What then the police were like, they're not doing anything wrong. Well, no, here's the thing. What they're horny for. Like I've for, seen these kinds of videos. What, what they're, they're really horny, horny for is that encounter with the police because then you can go, but officer, it's my First Amendment mm, right. Jesus. And they're almost waiting to see how the police will react. Are the police going to go, my dude, fuck are you doing you're harassing people mm. and then they'll get arrested or, or cautioned and then, and then they, they can, can go a martyr. I'm a martyr yeah. or Jesus. the police officers are going to go no everyone is well within his first amendment rights to do this and then they can just go and just go wild <laughs> uh, but the point is uh, it's, it's all done for likes and lols and they're and entirely clout. confrontational and I imagine everyone involved has better things to be doing with their time imagine yeah. just living your life like that 
Jesus. Imagine, like, I... Yeah, that's the best thing you've got to do today. What if you just weed on I'm going to go annoy someone for no reason. What if you just took a piss on them? Is that the truest... That's my First Amendment right. Well, uh, expression. Freedom of expression. Exactly. Freedom expressing of expression. urine. I'm expressing urine. Yeah. They're filming. What, they I, can film yeah. whatever they want, but I'm going to have a what, little wee-wee. What the most effective rebuttal I could have would be to that without me getting arrested. Without you being the bad guy. I wonder. Would it be? Because I don't understand American law especially well. I know But nothing. if you drop trowel mm. and got your ass out... Got oh, your whole yeah. bum out. Are they now engaging in the acts of pornography because they're filming your naked ass. Yes. And I feel there are harsher rules and then about you, and that. And then you say stuff like, film me, daddy. I'm so glad <laughs> I signed up for this porn shoot today. Yeah. Um, you are a great porno director. Man. Thank you for the money you gave me yes, to, show you, to show my dick, dick button dick balls. Button balls yeah. in a and public place. And yeah. To you. We are in this together. We are all in this together. You are a great movie director. We've signed porns. paperwork. Yes. Yes. Um, I really hope you share this with everyone that you said you would share it with mm. because of the First Amendment that indeed, you so, indeed, so love yeah. to highlight. Here's my ass hole. Yeah, my ass. My whole ass. Here's my whole moon-shaped yeah. butt. Yeah. Nice. I think that could be quite effective. That'd be quite you good. would have to get your dick button balls out. Or if you like handed them something illegal, like on the sly. Oh, kind of what thing. like? Yeah. like and a then drug. pretended they were giving it to you. Yes, you could get out a, a pills by Dr. Dre. Yeah. One of those. Looks like a big pill, basically. Yeah, a big pill. And you could go, thank you for this drug that you've given sir. me. That you've given me, I will now. And then you drop trout, and then you, I will yeah. now put this up. It always my bum. ends in dropping trout. You've really got to do it. Yeah. yeah. To be Even if you've proved your point, I feel. I think the bum has to come out. Yeah. I mean, we. we I think there's no. You've got no choice. Yeah. Where's the ass, though? The That's beauty of I'm being asking. a man. Yeah. What do you mean? One of the best things. Where about is the ass? Being a man. Where is the ass? Yeah. You've like got to in, get in any in. situation. Where's the ass? Yeah. If, he, ass? if he's going like First Amendment rights, I'm like, but where? The question you should be asking is, where's the ass? Where's the ass? Every time. Where's the ass? As I was saying, the beauty of being a man is, if you turn around and bend over and get your bum out, you'll mm. probably see the balls as well. So it's uh, kind of a two for yes. it's kind of a two for one. Depends how old you are. Depends, depends this, how yeah. low they hang. I don't want to give too much away about myself. Yeah. yeah. But I'm gonna I'm gonna say now low to you they used to. that yeah, that really they, is, they but, are visible. That really is the line, isn't it? Because I mean, if you show like one buck. What do you mean? If you show one buck, maybe two. One buck. That's that's uh, that's charming. Maybe that's a cherub on a on a on yes, a angelic... like a Michelangelo painting. Like a Michelangelo. But but when when, when, when those the sack... when the <laughs> when the sack is back when you drop the screw. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now, now it's not charming and fun anymore. No. Now there's a veiny now fucking there's... goat brain there, and nobody wants that. Why is it that asses are funny but cocks aren't in terms of in terms of public nudity? Yeah, that's a good point. I think Why it's because that? bums feel like round and safe and funny and charming. Round and safe. Yeah. Yeah. It's like having like a like a like a reliable friend you can call upon and ask. Dicks are know? fucking ugly. Yeah. Oh, they really are. They really yeah. are bad. They, no, really. one's, no one's here for a dick. No, like, really. no one. Yeah, yeah. Even people who like dicks don't really like them. Yeah. No. That's a weird <laughs> thing to say. Isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Speaking from experience. No. Someone who likes dicks wouldn't like them. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think, apropos, <laughs> I don't, I don't think apropos of nothing anyone's ever gone like, yeah, I can't like that dick. There so, might yeah. be. Like, There's a healthy cock. <laughs> oh, I haven't man. seen every. I haven't seen it's every a prime penis. specimen, right? There, yeah. I haven't seen every penis in the world. No. But there's a chance there's no. a beautiful dick out there. There's a uh, chance. We're getting into dangerous territory, but Apolitical. what would what would a dick have to do to be beautiful? It's <laughs> a good question. Maybe it. Maybe a little like wig? a like a three sixty ollie. I imagine. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, man. That'd be good. I. I. I this is just a fun perfectly act. smooth. This is just a fun anecdote, and I don't mean I'm not. I'm not yucking anyone's yums. This guy had every right <laughs> this, to be enjoying it. No but... kink shaming. No. I'm just going to take this opportunity to say again, it's the worst Christmas episode Ooh, of anything. Is it just and as chaotic as you were expecting? I would. Like, it to I would be. like to take this opportunity to say that this wasn't going to be a Christmas episode, and that these it disclaimers would episode. not have been necessary. It's more of a Christmas thing than the holiday. Don't was. get angry at me. I want to hear this more of a Christmas episode. So than the well, holiday was. My point is, when I lived in Toronto. Toronto! Toronto! Hey, um, hey everybody. You, buddy, you go to Toronto. You want to see a ball bag? When I lived in Toronto. You want to see my healthy no, cock why, balls? Why am I doing this? <laughs> yeah. When I lived in Toronto. Toronto. Uh, this was back in the before times, before people had like sweet, sweet, sweet smartphones. But I used to that go to good. internet was, cafes to get my internet. You have to get some internet. Yeah, I had to get my internet. I went to Grand Cafe internet. in Malta once. That's not what we're talking about. No, it's interesting. Don't well, make this about it? you. No, no my I point. I went to a shopping center in Malta. My point is, just to get the football. Scores. Could I please? Could you? Could you could That's you, incredible, isn't it? Uh, now I could just look at my phone. What a world we live in. Unbelievable. In. And now, in comparison. Oh, I'm sorry. Gillingham lost, so it didn't really matter. <laughs> no, please continue. 
It's good though, isn't it? Yeah, Don't great. make him continue. Anyway, my point is, I'm not yucking any yums. If this guy was having a good time, it's his business. But he was having a wank in the. No, 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 no. Oh. Well, he was which, very. Which he, guy? The gentleman I'm about to tell oh, you about. Right. But in this public internet cafe, yes. this gentleman was just browsing dicks. Oh, mm. dicks! Yeah, just I, pictures of dicks. As in, like, like uh, one would imagine it was a proto dating site. But you just saw the dicks. Yeah, like, it was literally just thumbnails of dicks. You've got to have you an know. incredible amount of confidence, or really not care. Yeah, to just go to an internet cafe and, and look I really, at dicks. I really, yeah, I really hope this doesn't come across as me going like, "Haha, look at this guy." Like he oh, knew no. what he no, liked. No, 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 no. 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 no it's no, fine to look so. at pictures of dicks. I think the the issue is to do that in public. It's it, kind it was of a wild. very. You've got to have. You've got to have. Be the same if it was Wannies. Pardon the. Yeah. <laughs> pardon the expression. <laughs> you've got to have ginormous balls to do that. Also, what can yeah. you learn from looking at a person's dick? Uh, How penis, big their dick is. Penis length. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, and girth. And girth. Yes. Don't forget girth. Yeah. Yeah. Don't yeah. forget girth. Yeah. 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 Oh, so you must never forget people girth. People often forget, people girth, forget yeah. girth, but you don't forget, don't forget it. You forget girth. Yeah. Either way, that's how we deal with these First Amendment dickheads. So, uh, yeah. problem solved, I guess. I think we've solved the problem. Get your perineum out. Which one's the second? Is that the gun one? I think that's the gun one. Yeah. Right to bear arms. Right to bear arms. A pair of bear arms. Wait, because once everyone talks about the first, the second, and the fifth. What's the fifth? Fifth. The fifth is the oh, right no, not, not to, to say anything in court. Incriminate yourself. Yeah. Yes, indeed. So, what's the fourth? That is basic thing. The fifth amendment, right? The fifth amendment is basically an admission of guilt, isn't yes. it? Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. If you're just saying I, I, I in, incur my right to well, no, not, I think not incriminate myself. It's like so you did it then. There's an aspect to you might say something to decriminate yourself mm. and fuck it up. There was so some, on the yeah. basis that you want a lawyer present, you just go plead the fifth. Fine, no, but fine. But when you've got your lawyers with you, then you don't need to plead. When your when your lawyers have advised you to say that, that might as well be you going, yeah, fucking did that. Yeah, oh, that's I'm not going to admit it. Yeah, if, the, if your lawyers have said, to I, find it, I find that incredibly Cause, weird. Because when uh, it was one of the many, many, many Trump lawsuits, Trump said it a lot in one of yeah, there was like cases. they had like one of his. Cronies, I mean, there's a lot of examples. One of his cohorts was up there, and they were like, Fuck the every question, they were just like, <laughs> at the advice of my lawyer. Yeah, I'm invoking am, my Fifth Amendment. Yeah, I am invoking you my Fifth You know what you could do is you right. could plead the first. And you could be like, I want to talk. I just want to <laughs> talk like <laughs> fucking yeah. crazy because I have free speech. I have free speech. I can say and anything. by the way, I was there and I yeah. did kill him. The, ones that, the thing is, again, the amendments, like first one, okay, clearly that was quite important. Mm. Uh, second, clearly they considered it quite important. Yeah. Third, fourth. Oh, the second one in its proper context is actually very different to how it's... Yeah, how yeah, it's, astonishingly, yeah. yeah. A- apolitical, <laughs> apolitical. But like third and fourth, no one remembers what they are. No. Fifth, everyone's like, yeah, everyone remembers mm, the fifth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's like, nothing, 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 nothing. The 18th is like, yeah, we're banning alcohol. Oh. That was like prohibition. Prohibition. Oh, but they must have and then the 20, And then the 21st... Bringing it back. Undoes the 18th. Alcohol's back, baby. Because <laughs> you can't, you can add amendments, but you can't remove anything. Jeez, so every amendment is hard. It sounds amendment. like a bad system. No, no, it's fine. No, it's great. It's, great. it's a weird. Yeah, the whole the whole law in America is very complicated. But also, we have a magical. I mean, na- law is complicated na- anyway. But yeah. laws in different countries are odd. Yeah, but we have a man who has a special glove and a hat and like a cane. A oh, uh, this we, this country is weird. If we didn't live here, like the opening of Parliament, fucking hell. You ever watch that? Yeah, it's weird. Well, even even living here, I there's a guy with a stick banging on a door, going, "Let me in!" And it's like, it, Jesus I, Christ, I, man. just let him for in 10, for ten points. What's his name? Oh, he's got a special name. Yeah, he has. Um, first game's a color. Oh, it's like the uh, two words. Two words. Mo. It's like the red stick or something like that. Uh, red. You're right and wrong at the same time. You've got what the right it? idea. Yeah, it's something like that. Black rod. Yeah, there you go. Black yeah. rod. In fact, also, uh, I remember there was an advert. In uh, uh, like a like a proper new a, a high an establishment newspaper like kind of like five ten years ago, sure. which is like we need a new black rod. It was actually like a job advert to be black oh. rod. How much is so that? Could, could have been you. Pretty well, pretty well. Yeah, it does yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you had to be like, even though your job is to put on like a weird uniform and like rap on the doors to Parliament once yeah. a year. Uh, it was you know well pretty paid. prestigious. Yeah. Freelance though. Well, you imagine turning up one day a year and you just like, yeah, is underground or whatever. Maybe you had like an office for oh, the rest of the year. Oh, jeez. Well, you like keep the rod. Off. Yeah. Mm. But did you, take did, the rod you, did you actually get to see the rod? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's bizarre. We do live in like Narnia. It's bizarre. It's weird. Like, this country is very strange. Yeah. Biscuit tin, Britain. It's just that we're used to it. Well, kind of, kind of used to it. Kind of used to it. Parliament, Fuck the Tories. Parliament's got that like mace in the middle of it, hasn't it? Yes. Yeah, it's like used uh, to break glass in case of dickhead. 
Yeah. Great gra- what what would we do with that? Well, there was a it's just fun. Do you remember like a couple of years ago there was like some bop parliamentary on the head. I think it was bop, one of the, bop. I think it was one of the Brexit She's not allowed it anymore. It was yeah. one of the Brexit debates. Didn't the guy pick up the mace but oh in protest and he got Everyone was out. very angry. You don't touch the mace. Ooh, you don't touch that mace. That's no. like, that's just Why would you? Though. No, sorry. Why would you? Do you know it's like a <laughs> uh, an MP right now? Uh, in do I know who's an MP? Uh, no, no. Uh, let, let me finish. There's a there is an MP. There's an MP. There's going to be another by election because an MP for the ruling party who you know it could be any party. Fuck the could be any party. Fuck the Tories. Uh, that's irrelevant. Um, he's just been suspended for 35 days for uh, basically uh, lobbying on behalf of the casino industry. Good. Because he was caught on camera <laughs> uh, basically saying, like, what do you want me to say? Yeah. Like, li- literally, pay, oh, there's a lot pay me anything, yeah. and I will say, I'll say what you literally I'll anything. Say what you say. And now he's being suspended for I find days. it incredible that someone who's been put into that position and has presumably done some decent things in their time. Well... Suddenly... No, but like you must have done something. <laughs> I'm fascinated by this photo because by these photos he looks about our age. Yeah. So I do think about my but imagine life then, choices. Imagine then thinking this is totally above board and it's not a newspaper yeah. thing. But I can't imagine. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it was totally a newspaper yeah. thing. But my point is, that why I, not just assume it's always a newspaper thing? Yeah. yeah. I I, I would always think that. Yeah, I would too. Because I because I'm like I'm a I'm scum. I'm a shitty artist. I'm not even an artist. Mm. I'm a writer. I contribute nothing to society. No. And yet like I've never I've never felt compelled to like just take a bribe and like lie, you know, no. for money. That's kind of weird though. And if I was and I was like in a high powered position, I'd be like, do you mind if I check your bag to make sure for you're not wearing a wire? Equipment. Yeah, what's, I say, what's that kind before of before I say anything? What's that whirring noise I can hear? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because if we're mates, you won't be too wor- worried about that. Yeah. Yeah. And neither will I. Yeah, because if any one of us was wearing a wire I think we. It's just that I'm an like, MP. No. It's just Ooh. I need to be careful about these things. Yeah, I just need to be careful. You do I just, understand? Like, I just I, like to check your bag, yeah. your coat. That if that's all right, because because obviously, like nothing. And I'm, if there's nothing on toward, then they won't mind. I yeah, don't want to alarm you guys. Mm. But yeah. There is recording equipment in this room right now, recording Shit. literally everything we're saying. Oh my god, yeah. And then what's going to happen is not long after this, John's going to put it online. This is all Shit. getting entered into the permanent record. Yeah. yeah. Too late now. I have so much incriminating evidence against all of us. I yeah. wonder if eventually the AI would be able to create an episode of this based on our like just scanning oh, all the. Other I think episodes. already it could. Yeah. To yeah. be honest, That's because fun. and it would probably be better than everything yeah. we've ever made because 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 we never cut anything because it's all gold. There is like <laughs> the better part. Yeah, of we should probably rethink that. Yeah, yeah, yeah and that, there's at least an hour and forty minutes of like every episode, and we've done a hundred and and at least ten minutes of that is gold. Oh, maybe oh, less. You maybe less. Believe. Yeah. Maybe that's the one ethical use of AI is somehow stopping us from recording more episodes of this shit. Maybe mm. it is. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we could finally kill an AI. An AI committing suicide today yeah. after listening to... Yeah, first... I reckon we could kill yeah. an AI. An AI, like, destroyed itself. Yeah. yeah. Because it, it had to just edit this. It couldn't bear yeah. it, to work on a show called it, it committed uh, AI I, seppuku. <laughs> I hate tortoises that lose their shells. That kind of thing. That sort of thing. <laughs> That's what AI would make. We fed an AI 170,000 hours of a show called yeah. Eight. This is what it came up with. Yeah. I fed a tortoise, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, to to uh, to a wanker. Yeah. Fart. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Best episode joke. ever. Clang, joke. Clanging noises for 47 <laughs> <Yeah>. minutes. <laughs> Best episode. Oh, it's grand. Best Nick episode. sneezes. Nick's Nick square bracket. But you can't hear it because it's really quiet. Because <laughs> his mic's off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. We're, this is awful. What do you mean? This. Everything do a Christmas about it. thing. Awful you, audio. Chris, do a Christmas thing. Oh, do, right. What's the greatest lie ever told? Uh, um, the Second Amendment. Yep. Yep. The best, all right, the greatest Christmas lie ever told. Oh. Best Christmas lie ever told. Is and it, everyone... Everyone has done it. Wait. Oh, shit. Wait, we've done the lie or we've believed the lie? Both. We've believed the lie and then done what the lie tell, tells us to do. Uh, is it that Father Christmas sees all? Correct. Well, it's Father, Father, it's Father Christmas. It's Father Christmas. Careful, because right. children might be listening to this episode. They're not listening. I see. Jeez, okay, oh, okay. Well, then, <laughs> that's, the greatest, no. that's the greatest no, lie No, 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 please, please, just give me... Let me have this for a moment. So you effectively hand. kicked down the door to my house with yeah. a bottle of champagne in hand. So we're doing a fucking Christmas episode. Yeah. And Nick and I came along on this journey. Yeah. Just <laughs> so you could get to the point of saying that you hate the fact no, 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 that no. Father Christmas is a lie. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't hate the lie. I quite like the lie. Okay, I think like... Father Christmas and the whole Christmas thing is magical. Christ. Fine. I like Christmas. Okay. I have a son. Yes. The lie has begun. You've uh, told him. Ha- I've no, the lie the, it's like you look we're see, going to see Father Christmas in 2 days. Oh, okay, he'll definitely remember that. 
Yeah, sure. <laughs> but the lie now for ne- the next eight years, eighteen years, is being embedded. Yes. I'm lying. I'm now lying to my son for the next eight years. Isn't it weird how this? Always happens with every parent to yeah. every fucking child, unless you're a monster parent. Let's not get into that. Apolitical, sure. apolitical. Um, but, then I, but then they're a monster for, for telling the truth. True. When, but yeah. anyway, anyway, we spend our whole lives as children being told, but also, I don't know whether we ever really, really, truly believed. Maybe mm. when I was like really young, I did. But like after a while, I was like, no, I know that this is just magic. It's yeah. just fun Christmas magic shit. And then after a while, you just basically just know that it's not real. Sure. Like, but your parents lied to you. I hate to tell but you. But no one ever... There's no cut-off point where you're, ah, you're 13. It's time to tell you. Santa well, Claus here's real. my next question. Do you remember finding out? No. Do you remember, do you remember finding out? A Father Christmas wasn't... I seem to remember... Spoilers. Somebody... He's, in, he's a nice bloke, but he's fictional. I seem to remember like one smart kid in primary school yeah. going like... It just doesn't Ooh, make any sense. He's not real. And then like... People going There's like, always one. I can't believe he said that. I can't believe he said that. I remember it. that yeah. happening. Yeah. And I, I always I always used to subscribe to it, even though I kind of thought it can't possibly be real. Mm. Just because it didn't make any fucking sense. No. Is it a good lie to tell a child, though? Is it? Well, it, does the lie only... only that's the question, isn't we it? We lie to children all the time about so many things. Is Doesn't, this a good well, that, one? That is a long-term lie. Yeah, I know, but like... That, it's... Inform, that everyone remembers Father Christmas, so it informs... But the whole memories. purpose of the lie mm. is to control your children, right? That's so, bad, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So the idea is you, you threaten them with no presents yeah. on the basis of behaving They're well. They're getting presents. And they probably are. They'll get yeah. yeah, but that's the, that's the concept. The only reason the lie exists mm. is because you want to try and control them. And in the months leading up to Christmas, they're excited for Christmas. You go, well, if you stop, if you, if you don't stop being a little shit, mm. then you're not getting any no presents. Father, no Father Christmas. No Father mm. Christmas. Father Christmas won't, won't put you on the nice list. My mum loves to tell a story about me as a very young boy, mm. um, where I was apparently being an absolute shit for a whole day. And my mum was at her wit's end. Hard to believe. I know. I'm not a really good kid. Yeah. Now I was a nice boy, um, and my dad, because he worked for a, a, a mobile phone company, mm. this, this is ages, hundreds of years ago. He called up Father Christmas. Yeah. He had Hello, a, is that Father Christmas? He had a car phone, which was back yeah. in the day. No mobile phones didn't really exist, but he had a car with oh. a phone mounted in the in the car because he got one because he worked for Vodafone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he went out to the car and yeah. he called, called home. Father Christmas. Yeah, and and and, and mum picked Father up Father Christmas, phone, and mum said, "Oh, you want to speak to Nick? Do you?" And Nikki, I was known back then because yeah. I was a little boy. Nice. And so he, she put me on the phone, and I never went on the phone. Like that's crazy because yeah. I, like, I was a tiny little, Christmas. tiny little boy. Hello, said my father. Hello, no. hello, hello. This is Father Christmas. I've heard you've been an absolute catastrophic <laughs> shit today. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't buck your ideas up, yeah. lad, you're not going to get any presents. No presents. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that incredible though? And I apparently any, burst any into other, tears. Any other time of year, that would, you'd be like under investigation <laughs> for that kind of thing. Wild gaslighting going on here. Unbelievable. I, lo- I love the idea of going like, "Don't worry, I'll set, I'll set Nick straight. Don't you worry." Hello, Hello. Nicholas. <laughs> no, you listen here, you little fuck. <laughs> I've had to reroute this call through 17 satellites. If you give me any more of your shit. I I see all, Nicholas. I see all. Don't don't worry, dear. I'll make sure Nick never tells another fib again. Yeah. Hello. (laughs) This is Father Christmas. Hello. This is Chris Angel. I mean, fuck. They hang up and then he dials. He dials again. Hello. Hello. Yeah. That, you, that other father. call was a different man. <laughs> you, may, you may have just heard from my evil twin, <laughs> Chris Angel. Yeah. This is he also father sounds Christmas. like Father Christmas' sort yeah. of name, by the way. This mm. is Father Christmas. This is really Father Christmas this time. Wasn't it kind of weird, yeah. though, how like all the presents came from Father Christmas, but they always said, like, you know, from mom yes. or dad, by like, written yeah. on them. So the, the, the way we were told it was that the presents under the tree yeah. were from mum and dad. Yeah. Oh, sure, yeah. But yeah. then the presents in the stocking. Ah, Christmas. Christmas. Yes. Christmas. That's how we were told. Yeah. It goes down. It's an incredible lie that it's I find it weird that it's one of those that has stood the test of time. Do you now this might be a bit of a bit ahead mm. of where you're at, but do you think you'll do like the elf on a shelf malarkey? Well Liz doesn't want to. Fuck the elf on the shelf, man. Fuck it. Yeah, I don't like that. I think it's too commercial. Will you do put the mince pie and, and milk? Well and we have a plate for that. We've already bought a like a but, dedicated but, plate. Because here's the thing. You eat that. Oh, I'll eat that. Yeah. 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 But you've got to leave a bit. I'll tell you what, I quite like carrots. <laughs> but you also realise okay. that... 
I do. Yeah, I'm your, not your your child though is 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 still but a young child. He's not going to remember oh, no. anything this year. No, but I'm like, telling you now. I'm going to lie to him. Yes. Yeah. yeah you're but going but to do over the next few years. But you bought the special minx pie plate. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Are you yeah. going to do it this year? Oh sure. Yeah. But he won't. Literally, he'll think it's. Like, he doesn't understand anything. <laughs> he has no object yeah. permanent yet. Yeah. I do a like, lot of things just for pretense, John. Oh sure. For yourself, yeah. really. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's really. I guess you got to get validate myself. So you're going to be coming down at like two a.m. on Christmas Eve, and you're going to be doing like little little icing no, sugar no, footprints. No, the difference now like is that I can eat it in front of him. Oh, in a year, <laughs> now it doesn't matter. All right, yeah, sure. I'm sat there. Oh, look at yeah, me, I'm yeah, sat there. You better what behave. Gonna, what are you going to do? No, I'll, I'll wait till he goes to bed. But he goes to bed at like quarter past. Sure, seven, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Late. yeah. In future, yeah, he's years, a baby. He's a baby. He's a baby. <laughs> he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> he's a fucking well. like, he doesn't know anything. I could eat it in front of him, and it wouldn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Next, for the, next for the mystique. year, next for the mystique. year, next year is a problem. Yeah. Like, he might not necessarily be talking, you know, in full sentences, but he will have a better awareness of what's I'm just, going on. I'm just saying, like, when your child is of an age where they need disciplining and you need to pull, like, a like a nick a situation, Hello. If, Hello. You, if you need someone to climb onto your summer house, it, like, <laughs> well, it, well, you know, little lad, if you look out the window now, yeah. I think we'll see a very it's special arrival. I like, like the idea of you in a red morph suit, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, skin tight. It's just, John... I don't think you falling off my shed is going to provide any solutions here. Hello! Oh, oh my rib! It's, oh, it's me, skin tight Santa Claus! I'm so glad we were on the same page because all I could picture in my head was going, oh, what? <laughs> 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 okay! Yeah. He's not moving. <laughs> then you just run off and hurdle the fence out into the field. <laughs> what, like, no, I fall off. Oh my god, this is such an opportunity for you to, like, Add to the law of, the of Santa. Yeah. Like, law of Santa? Yeah. So oh, meant of the field out the back. You have such an incredible opportunity here yeah. to, to, to add to the mythos of Santa. Yeah. Right? You could do all sorts of shit. You could, you could, yeah. you could be stood on a roof. You could vault a fence. You could, you could do all this crazy shit. I'll probably dress up. I'll probably dress up. Yeah. You Not could, this year again. You but could, you could be year. like, every year, Santa mm. Claus will only come if daddy is allowed to go into the Santa sleep, which is yes. where you're left alone for like six hours yeah. with a bottle <laughs> yeah, of brandy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Santa knows about the Santa Parents sleep. need like to recharge for Christmas. I love the idea. I just keep going back to me, me on the roof of your shed in a red morph suit, <laughs> falling off, cracking my head. And then you just going, ho, 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 ho. And then I'm lying down now. I'm a bit I just sleepy. Slowly draw the curtains. Slowly just leave you just out leave there. you out? It'll be fine, it'll be fine. You'll- have a great Christmas. Oh. Dad, is that you? No. No, <laughs> no Joe. No, it's John. I need Santa. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's Uncle John. I mean, Father Christmas. Uh, Uncle Santa Claus. Uh, yeah. I'm related to Santa Claus. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> Stop asking questions. <laughs> it's getting complicated. Yeah. But that's again the thing. Like, I'm going to have to have another lie to yeah. cover the original lie and then keep going with that. Yeah. What the fuck am I going to do? This is such a great opportunity to weave a whole saga. and, and It like, is, but I'm going to have to remember it all. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm going to remember all yeah. of this. You could There's get a so quad many. bike one year and it could be like, Santa's coming on a quad bike. Yeah. Whoa, ho, ho. <laughs> John, falling off a quad bike. John's, John's, Every year it's John. John's recovered from his shed injuries <laughs> just in time to run himself over with a quad bike. It's yeah, John on a quad amazing. bike with a bandage around his head. You've got the, you've got the field at the bottom of your garden. Yeah. Go, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Leaning back, <laughs> falling off a quad bike. It keeps going. Careens into comes, your summer. Comes rounding a circle and runs me. Then slowly draw the curtains again. Oh, goodbye. Uh, I'm doing okay. <laughs> oh, goodbye, everyone. <laughs> yeah, but then eventually, no matter how many times John ninjas himself, <laughs> I'm, he's going to start questioning it, and I'm going to probably lie a yeah. couple of times again. It's an incredible he thing. Oh, from school, amazing. he will come home from school one day, and he'll it, be like. <laughs> Graham at school. Graham is his, one of his friends. Yep, sure. It's a really modern name. You've Graham. Come over there. <laughs> My yeah. friend Graham. Yeah, well, they call him Gray. Gray, yeah. yeah. They, call him, they call him Little G on TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. Lil, Lil G. has got 14 million followers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lil G said <laughs> he's that Santa tied, tied eats Tide Pods. He's eating one now. Yeah. Lil G said that Santa isn't real. And then you're yeah. faced with that. And you're like, well, oh, I'd, really? I'll just go, Lil G's full of shit. <laughs> and I'm not letting you hang out with him anymore. Lil G's a little fucking yeah. prick. <laughs> Yeah, but that's going to come eventually, and then 
I, yeah, it's just incredible that that's just an accepted lie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For par- every parent to tell their child. Which is why you've got to go so hard with yeah. the lie. Yeah. You've got yeah. To oh, I will. So oh, I will. Hard. But Enjoy- I think if I if I told any other lie like that and just made a person up, yeah. I'd be arrested. Yeah. Yeah, true. Can I, if John gets to be Santa every year in a red mm. skin tight morph suit, can I be like an elf or something? I really want to be part oh, of it. Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, the first year, it can just be John falling off somehow. You're the one who needs, no. to, you're the one who needs to pick him up every time. <laughs> but it's like, like I, just, I'm in a red... Every year, it's just chaos in the garden. <laughs> I'm, yeah. in, I'm in a red morph suit. Like, you I'm know, a green morph You know, I, I, you're like, no, I was going to say, you're the reindeer. <laughs> so yeah. you're like, you're like saddle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it's like, oh, re- Daddy, little G, yeah. at school, school and TikTok, he told me that Father at Christmas... school and TikTok. He told me that Santa Claus ain't real. Yeah. I'm like, why is he talking I, like this? And you go like, oh, really? Well, I know someone who might... And you open, open the, the window and it's just Nick and I in more <laughs> Something's on fire. Getting handcuffed by the police. <laughs> Sorry, Jacob. <laughs> the shed's on fire. Yeah. Good. Uh, There's a quad bike going round and round in the field. Then I just go and get the phone. Hello, is that Jacob? It's just half a boat. It's just in your garden. <laughs> yeah. There's something about the idea. Like, <laughs> you're playing the reindeer. It's somehow like, I don't know, you're naked apart from a like a saddle. <laughs> Yeah, you were riding me. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy, is that Rudolph's it's... dick button ball? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> that is, yes. <laughs> you go tell Lil G what you saw tonight. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> that'll, make, that'll make for good First Amendment content. Uh, oh, oh, Christ. I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've got bigger problems. Your kid's going to have like a camera phone. Not immediately. Well, he's, you know what I mean. Have a hologram. Your kids yeah. gonna be playing like, Fortnite and like four dimensional Fortnite. That's gonna be problematic. They're gonna be on TikTok. That's gonna be problematic. Yeah, but we'll deal with that. Yeah. A, well, this Christmas it'll be nice to have a baby just smiling and going, oh, yeah. wow. enjoy it to oh, enjoy these pie. moments. Yeah, and I can yeah. eat mince pie and a carrot. That'll yeah. be good. Yeah. Next win, year, win. probably more of the same, but you'll be more aware. Year after that. Now it's time. Probably more coherent. And then after that, after after that, I'm just starting to lie. Deep into the lie for like six years. That's when we have to start. So we're talking like kind of 20, 25, 26, where... Yeah. We've got time to get them off suits. Well, we'll Well, get... We'll get... That Christmas Christmas diorama is going to be incredible. Yeah. 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 Start saving up for the morph suits. I guess guess I'll just be naked. Yeah. 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 Well, if we're heading that way anyway, you might as well not bother buying the morph suits. We are heading that way. I think it's undoubtable we're heading that way. John can buy a morph suit. John can have a suit. I'll have nothing. Well, you can <laughs> you can buy a saddle. But it's like it's a morph suit, but I've taken like spray paint. I've sprayed like a beard on. Yes. Yeah. Which will look really good, actually. Yeah. 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 Oh, he definitely, definitely oh, won't be able to tell. It's just, it's just a red <laughs> ranger. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, yeah. Good. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Well, that's cool. something to look forward to, isn't it? Seriously, if you want it, we'll do it. I mean, I'm we'll going to I'm gonna have to pay for the therapy, aren't I? I mean, for the yeah. lie and, and also for some for reason, all of this. the lawn being on fire every <laughs> Christmas Eve. Daddy, I don't think that Father Christmas is real. Yeah. Oh, really? Well, what's that I hear upstairs? Bang. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> because when he, when, if you were doing this, when he goes, I don't think Father Christmas is real, I'll just go, thank fuck. <laughs> Jesus! Oh, we're done. Don't have to, don't have to like water the lawn every winter. <laughs> You've got a bucket of sand because we're using kerosene. <laughs> so, like, we always go harder each year. Yeah, yeah, every like, year. Even though the first year was a complete disaster, yeah. John fell off the shed. Next year, better. We'll do How better. do we go bigger than this? How do we go bigger than falling off the shed? Yeah, first year I fell off the shed and got like, um, you know, some concussion, con- concussion. Uh, and frostbite because yeah. you left me out there for a long yeah. time. Shut the curtains. <laughs> Literally close the gates. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Go to bed, Jacob. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's a different man screaming. Yeah. Oh, that's in the distance. That's a firework. Yeah, that's a firework. Yeah. Second, yeah. S- firework. second year, we got arrested on your driveway because they thought yeah. we were doing some weird sex thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, officer, it's a Christmas scene. Yeah. yeah. It's for Jacob. It's that's for, much worse. It's, it's magical. No, we're doing this for a little we're boy. We're doing this for a little child. No. Come with us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> third year though third year that's what we've that's, that's gonna be in the bag yeah. yeah that's when we've made all the mistakes and we know how to yeah, do it third properly. year you'll nail it yeah, yeah, yeah it's gonna be great, great. Yeah. he definitely yeah. won't be scarred by the first two definitely not no, so definitely that's not. fine he's got love 
Well, I've got love. And it is kind of Christmas. Is it? Kind because of. Because I was in Tesco's. And oh, yeah. and I saw there was lots of like chocolate gifts, sure. chocolate you know, gifts, chocolate gifts, you Chocolates, know, like, yeah. and there's a chocolat. There's a huge. There was a huge tray oh, of yeah. Ferrero Rocher. Oh. oh, the ambassador is in town. Indeed, the ambassador. Yeah. Is the here. ambassador is delighted to see you. And the pyramid of Ferrero Rocher is a hit for him. Yeah, <sighs> sure. And I was like, with these, with these delicious Ferrero Rochers, you're really spoiling us, ambassador. And and That's I it, pretty much. I operate under the conceit that those are for you take to. To whoever is hosting Christmas, and that's like a gift that you put on the coffee table, yeah. or you literally wrap it and you give it as a gift. Yeah. But you know what? You can also do eat it. I mean, you can make. You can buy it for yourself. Eat it yourself. Oh. And I did. What? I just bought a fuck shit ton of Ferrero Rocher for myself, <laughs> and I ate them all in like two days. What the pyramid? Well, they didn't have a pyramid. <laughs> what? <laughs> but I bought one of the biggest trays you can get and like, ate them all. Yeah, and it was like it was like fifteen quid. <laughs> How many Ferrero Rochers? Yeah. Well, it was like a chessboard of Ferrero a... Rochers. Oh my god! Oh, to make god. a pyramid. Make a pyramid because the old axe well, back in the day. So I reckon you need a six by six as a base. As a, as a base okay, okay. Yeah. Just no, you need more. Can, than six can, by can six we? Please. Do you think it's possible that anyone listening to this doesn't know what a Ferrero Rocher is? Okay, on the off chance that someone doesn't know what a fucking Ferrero Rocher is, a very fancy chocolate. Posh chocolate. Comes it's, in a gold... It comes in a gold wrapping in a cup. So it's gold wrapping that in a like, That cup. feels like too much, doesn't it? A yeah, Wrapping it in a cup. Yeah, but that's also like, that's how you know it's fancy. And like it comes pa- in this pa- tray. Paper cup. That's like, it's like a tile. Yes. It's like a square. It's like the size of a chessboard. Mm. The biggest one, anyway. Yeah. And then it's got like, it's got like a crystallized plastic lid. Yes. That when you lift off, they're all there in little divots. Ooh, yeah. ambassador, yeah. you're really spoiling us with all these Ferrero Rushes. And then the chocolate inside the cup and the foil is like a, it looks like a conker. It looks like a little ball. Yes. It's like brown with hazelnuts all over it. And then it's got like, it's like a, a soft knobbly. praline inside. It's like a, it's like a feast. It's got a Nutella what? inside. Yeah. Do I have to explain what a feast is? Don't, yeah, can you explain what conkers is, yeah. is as well? Yeah. What conkers is? Yeah. Conkers are, uh, no, I can't. No, okay. Ch- chestnuts. It looks like a kind of like uh, a little nutty ball. It looks if like if a you don't know mine. what a conquer is, just stop now. It looks whiskey. like a sea mine. You know, like a mine. In the sea. In the sea. Yeah. yeah. It looks like a sea mine. Don't worry about it. Anyway, it's very luxurious. Hazelnutty, chocolatey. I don't think I've ever had much Ferrero Rocher. And not as much. Well, the most I've so had. I rarefied. I, I, I reckon I could count, count two. Right? Yeah. Well, I reckon I could count on one hand the amount of Ferrero Rocher I've had. Previous to a couple of days ago, yeah. that's what I was, the situation I was in. Yeah. Not but now. I'm an adult man. Yeah. And I just you need as much Ferrero Rocher as you want. This is the thing; they're not just locked to be a gift or locked to be like something to give to someone else. Yeah. You could just buy a tray, and because, nobody yeah. knows. Because we're nobody adults. Yeah, it's the point. police don't know. You know when it's like you know you're on death row and they they're, they're going to electrocute you <laughs> and they go like you know what's your last meal and your last meal could be anything. Yeah, and you could go, I want the pyramid. pyramid. I want a pyramid of Ferrero Rocher. <laughs> yeah. Please. The biggest, please. The biggest problem I've got in life is that nobody stops me. Yeah. Now, yeah. In terms now, of food, I ate a whole tray of fish fingers the other day. <laughs> yeah. I did. Well, you can. Yeah. You can go. I can't, judge, Liz I can't was out. judge you. Liz was out. The baby won't stop me because he can't. Yeah, he's too he weak. He's, he's, he's too weak. Yeah. He was asleep. I just ate. I just had it. Just I was have, like, I just have a tray of how many? Twelve. Uh, no, I think it was 10. 10 but still, it's a good number of fish I fingers. I mean, 10 fish fingers is a pretty good number. Yeah. yeah. It's Adam. But we could, go, <laughs> we could go to like a supermarket now and buy like a family pack of Twix. Oh, and, and, and we um, could eat them yeah, all. each. And we could just eat that whole bag. That'd be good. And no one could stop us. No so, one know, could stop us. Like celebrations, roses, quality street, whatever. Those t- those are tubs of sweets. Yeah, tubs of and sweets. The, and the yeah. purpose that we have been lied to, it's mm. like your lie, up until this point, is you buy that for someone else. Do we? Do we but what I could do with my adult money, is I could buy it and then just fucking eat it yeah, all. Yeah, do you want? And I ate a whole tray of Ferrero Rocher. You're, you're really making me reassess, like, luxury moments This now. is it. Because you could just go buy a whole pack of After 8 mints. And eat them all yourself. You could just mm. eat them all yourself. Exactly. You know? And After yeah. 8's a really good analogue of what the fuck mm. I'm talking about. Because yeah. that's the kind of thing you buy for someone else to put on someone else's fucking coffee table. But no, they're just foods. And no one knows that you're eating them, except you and your shame. So just eat them all. Eat them all. I'm amazed. Eat all that after eights have done as well as they have. Well, that's the power of for marketing. Cho- isn't for chocolate, it? Yeah. that's essentially shit. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it kind of creates the illusion of being classy, though, doesn't it? It's not. That's, no. that's marketing. It's that's not. what Ferrero Rocher does as well. Like yeah. the illusion of classiness. Ferrero They're not Rush, classy. They've, it's done, just they've done very well. Those companies. Yeah, because when Ferrero, yeah. a, a, once you unwrap it, you take all the gilding off. Like a Ferrero it's just Rocher, a feast. It looks a bit like it's a, a nut- ball of feast. It's a small, it's a it small like, feast. It looks like a nutty shit. You know. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like well, no. Beyonce's pearls probably. It's because it's got a posh name as well. 
It's yeah, like, Phil Gregor Rocher. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, made that's made in Burton on uh, Trent. Yeah. <laughs> what does Ferrero Rocher mean? It means fucking eat it. Or else. Fucking. Yeah. yeah. Ferrero. It sounds like Ferrari. Ferrari. Ferrero. For fucking ridiculous. Ferrero Rocher. I bet like Rocher is like gold or. Gold, oh, you sure. reckon? Gold. It'll be like, you know, a a, a fancy ro- Ferrero. Ferrero Rocher official website. Ferrero Rocher. Just put meaning in. Meaning. Uh, it's Italian <coughs> for... No, that's, there's no answer. Flavor. Oh, Michel Ferrero is credited as the product's creator. Oh, so it's oh, a Ferrero... Ferrero's... Like a like an angel Rocher. or a lock or Here a... we go, Wikipedia. This will help us out. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. It's Michel a... Ferrero. It's great audio. Very, very reliable. Michael History. Ferrero. Michael Ferrero. He named it after the chocolate after a grotto in the Roman Catholic shrine of Lourdes, which is Rocher de Massabiel. I mean, Rocher that, that's, comes that's... from French and means rock or boulder. Oh, so it's Michael's rock. It's Michael's little rocks. Michael, Michael's boulder. Michael's get, boulders. Have a yeah. great old soiree. Get, it... a, get a Michael's rock in your cheek. Ooh, yeah. Michael's rock for it me, sounded please. posh until the point you said it was called Michael's boulder. Michael's boulder. Yeah. yeah. Well, there we are. There you go. So now you know. But the marketing, yeah, it's very luxurious. They're Italian. It? It's very luxurious. It's very luxurious. After eight's a shit. I now have an empty Ferrero Rocher tray. And it's very, it's very like non-recyclable. Put your pen, put your pens in there. Well, mm, my I circular th- spherical pens. I think well, technically, can you, the, can you not take the circles out? It's like it's all divots. Uh, I think technically, doesn't that make you like a lord? Oh, does it? Yeah, now you own like an empty tray of Ferrero Rocher. Surely you can now you sit in the house like, of lords or something. Oh, you get cool. some Pokemons or something to go in there. Ah, <gasps> your Bakugans. Oh, Bakugans. Your Bakugans. They're about the exact same size as a Ferrero Rocher. See. Oh my god! I hope Ali hasn't put that in the bin because I am getting that. There when I go. get home, I'm Ferrer- getting my Ferrero Rocher Ferrer- tray. Ferrero Rocher tray. Fuckity wank! That's such a good idea. Do you there ever you worry that like y- you might become so happy that you realise you've actually died? It's just happened. Yeah, like <laughs> you know, you go to a party, and someone hangs you a uh, a plate of Bakugan, <laughs> which are artfully arranged in a Ferrero Rocher tray, and you go like, "Am I dead?" Yeah. Is this heaven? Who are you and how do you know me so well? Mm. It just goes to show that occasionally belligerent people can come up with ideas about something they don't understand. <laughs> you've, had, you've had a couple of like ideas that have come from a very ignorant place that have been very good you know, today. That's a compliment. Yeah. Thank you. I think. Yeah. I've got a lot. I'll take it. Go on. Oh, I don't know. It's, this better be good. It's better be Christmas. Oh. You've ruined this Christmas. Because Ferrero Rocher is very Christmas. You better. So. You just you... Just you wait, my friend. Just, I, just, I, oh, I've, First Amendment. I've Happy gone, Christmas. I've Jesus got, I've, Christ. Well, it's, you changed the brief. I didn't change you the brief. You changed the brief. I'm not in charge. <laughs> and yet somehow we're all I dancing. I don't know. Yeah, somehow we're all beholden to you. Dancing the old cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Having a Christmas episode. Anyway, I don't like Christmas lights. What do you mean? I like him. I love him. You said so it wasn't say. Christmas. Is that really? No, I said it is Christmas here for you. I was doing this for you. Was this your original love? Well, yeah. I don't know. Why not? Yeah. Why do you like Christmas lights? That's but boring. It's a lovely glow. I like the ambiance. Do you, what sort of Christmas lights do you like? Because it's, this is very Do you like <laughs> multicoloured Christmas lights or do you put the... It's very or, important. Or do you like white Christmas lights? Yeah. Do you like tacky colourful ones? I like, I like the colours. You like the colours? No, I like the colours. Okay. That's have, the correct we have, answer. We have white ones. Yeah, no, no. I'm getting in the spirit of a show, finally. I've had a got visited by... Ghosts it's only taken an hour and 42 minutes. <laughs> Two dickheads minutes. from Christmas past. <laughs> I got visited, visited by a ghost of one belligerent asshole and now I feel completely <laughs> different about this podcast and the season. Um, no, I'm just saying like, you, you know, you around. not a ghost. Christmas time comes around. You decorate your ass, don't you? Decorate, uh, your, you ass. decorate your ass. You decorate you your ass. Right, it's time to decorate our ass for Christmas. You know, we... put lights up in the kitchen. Put That's lights on... up in the kitchen? Yeah. Dangerous. That's, you know, long, long train. Do you turn them off at night? Through the sink? Yeah, I do. Oh, you should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I just dunk him, dunk him in the sink, you know, overnight, yeah. No, I mean, you know. Still put, plugged in. Put lights yeah. up, you know, and then the glow. Mm. Serious now. We can take it. Let's go. I've been being serious Hey, guys, time. let's just get serious for a moment. I've been being right? serious. Hey, it's Christmas. Yeah. I've been being it's time to get serious. The, the glow, the ambient glow of mm. like Christmas lights illuminating a room is delightful. It is yeah. delightful. And when you get your Christmas decorations up at this time of year, the house suddenly feels very warm. Yes. And because, you know, the light of cozy. a thousand suns kind of burning. Yes. But like, you know, it feels very cozy, feels very yes. safe, very mm. warm. Yes. And I always remember like, come, come the end of Christmas... January, yeah. crumb, yes. crumb. you pack it all down. Feels very Suddenly, empty. your house feels very empty, doesn't it? And cold. Feels, yeah. Very and cold, bare. yeah. Mm. We've moved our furniture around for Christmas this year. Oh, sure. Which you'll, you'll see in a couple of weeks, I'm sure. Um, Not if I don't come. Moved, well, you'll come. Okay. You come every year. You've got nowhere else to go. <laughs> it's true, actually. Yeah. New Year's Eve, you're always there. We're always there, New Year's Eve. It's true. <laughs> we've moved the chair into the other corner. My God. Wild. And we've moved the, well, other bits. 
uh, just to accommodate the tree. <laughs> you we moved a chair to accommodate our it's tree. It's irrelevant to me to tell. I can tell you two. You, won't, no be one else to, you, won't, be to, you won't be able to go back now. You've changed it all up. Well, that's what we're thinking. Yeah. We might leave it where it is. Leave the tree up. Yeah. Just leave yeah. the tree up. Just leave the tree up. It doesn't have to be a Christmas tree. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, let's, 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 let's normalise just having, like... It could just like, be a fern. It could be wood, a, or an orange tree. Just, yeah. yeah, just put yeah. whatever on it. Get oranges. Yeah. Get some oranges. Get a lemon tree. It's very festive. Put some Easter eggs yeah. on it in April. Have a... Yeah. Have a what do they call them? Chris Dingles. Chris Dingle. Yeah. How did I know that was the fuck you were talking Chris about? Chris Dingle, that's weird. Have a Chris Dingle tree. Merry Chris Dingle tree. <laughs> we need to, like, stop hanging out so much. How... Right. Chris go. Dingle. Chris, Chris Dingle. Dingle. How go. come we put a candle in an orange and then some sweets? Well, no, a cocktail it's, stick. It's described well, no, it's more complicated than that. It's described, it? it's described, put a red ribbon around the yeah. middle. Oh, put four yeah. cocktail sticks on it. Dolly mixture. Raisin. Dolly mixture. It's about as old testament Dolly mixture. as it gets. Stick a candle in the orange. Yeah. Yeah. Stick a candle in the orange. And that's, that's in a church. Yeah. And that's apparently religious. And I don't know why what is it that, meant. Why is that religious? Well, look, I'm looking at it. It's there. It's in Leviticus. It's every part of it What does an orange represent? Oh, that's... Fruits of our labour. That's Gog's zesty love. Yeah. You know, and then... Wrap a ribbon around it. Chris Dingle. Here we go. Get, get some dolly mix. What is the orange A Chris Dingle is a symbolic object used in the Advent, Christmas, and Epiphany services of many Christian denominations. Yeah. Hold on. Here we go. See. Here we go. What, a does, modern, a, what a does a modern, fucking orange mean? A modern Chris Dingle is made from a candle in an orange representing the light and the world, which is typically decorated with a red ribbon and sweets or dry fruit. It's yeah. been a feature in Moravian churches across the United Kingdom before the World Wars. Oh. Chris Dingle's. So is it that, that doesn't mean anything? Is it possible that any yeah. what other round li- fruits are? No, I'm I'm just curious for a moment. I know you're 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 doing your whole belligerent thing. No, right now, but <laughs> I, I'm curious, like how many people listening actually know what a Chris Kingle is? Okay, I would say most people. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give you each element of a Chris Dingle and I want you to tell me what it represents. Okay, okay, the orange. That's the world. The world. That's the world. The, the only because you just okay. Said it. So everyone at home, take a citrus fruit, an orange. It has to be an orange. And uh, big orange. That's what are the round fruits? Are no there? tangerine, no clementine. Why is it not a melon? Too or, big or an apple? Apple's too hard. Not, apple's not round. Yeah, it's too hard. Yeah. All right. The candle. What does that represent? Uh, that's the light of God. Yeah. The, Jesus Christ is the light. Of the so world. you sl- you take an orange, you slam a candle in it. Sla- that's the first slam a, step. Slam one. a candle in it. Red imagine, ribbon. Imagine slamming the light of Jesus into an orange. That's really what I feel religion is. Yeah. It's just slamming. Unwillingly slamming Jesus into the world, he'll, he'll be very upset. A red ribbon wrapped around the orange. That's God's love. Nope. Our our togetherness. No. Blood. Blood. That's right. Oh. That's yeah. the blood of Christ. It's blood. Merry Christmas, everyone. You bunch of idiots. If we were going <laughs> to kill two birds with one stone, we could just use a blood orange. That's actually much smarter. That's yeah. Very yeah. smart. We yeah. we could do yeah. away with the ribbon because that's like that's all money, isn't it? Four you... skewers. Yeah. Four pushed into sticks. the orange. Yeah. With dried fruits and what sweets the skewers, on those what skewers. What do the skewers represent? Oh, Ma- uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Nope. Uh... Comet, Dancer, Blitzen. <laughs> no, it's the Four Seasons. Oh, uh... and then and then the fruits on those sticks represent the fruits of the earth. No, they, they don't. They're dolly mixtures. Fruits of the earth. Mate. They, no. they represent Gog's four furious wraths. Yeah. Oh, his four furious wraths. Yeah. Glut- oh, right. Gluttony. Yeah. Um, piracy. Simony, um, uh, I learned that the other day. Simony, that's selling and, church property and um, and um, hawks and online um, fraud. <laughs> online fraud. God hates hawks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we insert four cocktail sticks covered in uh, dolly mix to symbolise Gog's four vengeful hawks <laughs> yeah. that will come for the all of death. us. <laughs> they will come, <laughs> eventually, they will, come, they will come for all of us. <laughs> the hawk of pain. <laughs> Here he comes. Go! <laughs> <laughs> Gog's terrible, vengeful birds. The hawk of famine. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, the and, hawk then, of and then and then so because we, I quite like Chris Dingle. Well, like, I like I Chris Dingle. Ma- I, think I, got to I think it's magical. So you don't eat it. Well, at the end, you eat the sweets. I eat the sweets. Yeah, but you just got like a fruit and a. a we got told off. If I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not eating the orange. That's technically a sin, I believe. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I got told off if you eat the sweets before Chris Dingle. Liz, we had shared one last year, and Liz ate the orange. I had the sweets. You sh- you made a Chris Dingle together. No, we went to a service. Oh, okay, oh, yeah. That's hot. We'll go again this year. What I think do, we're going what do you, this weekend. What do you do with the candle? Oh, I don't know. Do you, who, who ate the candle? Yeah. Someone's got to eat the candle. The dog ate the candle. Oh, what's, your, what's your love? Get out of the way. Uh, my <laughs> love. Home. My love's fairly similar to Nick's. Chocolate for breakfast. Oh, oh now that's a Christmas tradition. Chocolate. That is a Christmas tradition. Chocolate for breakfast and sweet things, generally. Is this because of the Advent calendar? Advent calendar, I, I'll tell you what. 
Tell me what. I've got three advent calendars this year. Okay, that's excessive. Well, tell no. me all about them. I have three chocolate advent calendars. Fucking hell. Jacob has an additional two, which you which eat. aren't chocolate. And also, Jacob can't digest can't solids eat chocolate, at the moment. So, I'll have so yeah, that's going to you. Liz yeah. has an advent calendar, and you eat that. We it's, share a couple, and of it's them. Lego, which is weird, but you still eat it. Yeah, and then <laughs> yeah, chocolate for breakfast, um, and then I'll have a porridge with sugar on it. Wow. wow. I can do what I want. I'll have fish fingers for breakfast if this I want. This is the power of the Ferrero Rush period. Do what I want. Yeah. You can do, do what, what you want. You're an adult. I can do what I want. John, do you have an advent calendar? No. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm... Okay, we've already established a load of... <laughs> a load of fucking ghosts are coming to me, all right? You know, I'm going to get an... I think we're the ghosts. He's the ghost of belligerent past. Yeah. And I'm the ghost of advent calendar present. Who's the ghost of asshole future? <laughs> I could be that one as well. That's oh, little, shot, he's yeah. back. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise. I just put a hoodie just, on. It's me, it's me again. I'm back again. Yeah, oh, no. Yeah. Same ghost. Yeah. Same ghost. So, uh, you mean like, uh, have you started eating chocolate for breakfast then? Is that the idea? Oh, yeah. It's the 14th, yeah. John. Yeah. It's been doing I've, been it I've, been eating, I've been eating chocolate for breakfast for, breakfast for two weeks. Is it part of your breakfast or all your breakfast? You know oh, what I, mean? I would say it's probably all my breakfast. Okay. Like porridge for brunch. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. I don't really eat during the day. Ali has a lint chocolate teddy bear advent calendar lovely yeah so she opens the little windows and there'll be either a little chocolate teddy in there oh. a little chocolate reindeer or just a ball mm. of chocolate uh, <laughs> of, of, of zinc <laughs> <laughs> yeah just a ball bearing just a sphere of yeah. mercury every day you can get like a lint truffle or a sphere of zirconium <laughs> <laughs> hard um, yeah. and, but it also has an AR feature where it has like an app. No, no I think it's got an app. I think That's you scan a QR code. And you can watch Lint the Don't, stri- don't strike point... me as the kind of company that would invest in that no, kind you, of technology. It's weird, isn't it? And then you point your camera phone at your teddy bear. calendar and it comes to life. And you can see the bear beg for life. And you see the bears. The bears all do stuff. Yeah. And it's a bit weird because it's like, oh, look at them. Aren't they cute? But you also eat them every other day. Yeah. So yeah. it's a little bit bleak. Well, the chocolate bears. They're really delicious. Come to life. And they they are, got, they are, and they've got to come up with like 24 AR... Yeah, one ideas. day they were having a snowball fight. One day they were sledging down And that's hill. charming. But by, charming. By, by yeah. day eight, those bears are twerking. Those, <laughs> yeah. 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 If you keep the augmented reality on them, yeah. Yeah. They and just, they also... It also they has will a, not stop. It has a banging soundtrack. <laughs> like, it's weirdly like, sort of like, like heavy bass... It's like a Christmas jingly sleigh bells kind of song, but then there's like bam, 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 kind of bass line underneath it. Why are you watching like, a little chocolate bear? Or a little, twerk. little chocolate good bear. Old, twerk. Good old Lint, eh? Lint, who'd have thought? Who'd Lint, have thought it? Lint have really got with the times. God. Yeah. Good old Lint. It's quite a special occasion every morning to see what the bears are up to. And the bears just like like fla- slapping its ash cheeks just against like, like a candy cane, just like, like rutting hard. <laughs> yeah. Into each other, like good it's old, wild. Good old Lint. Yeah, good old Lint. Good sex positive. Lint. I didn't see that coming. So merry, so merry fucking Christmas. Merry Lintmas. Sure. You bastards. <laughs> this is, so this is. So this has been an absolute disaster of an episode. No, John. Maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe we do an apology at the front of the episode. No. Oh, no. okay. No, Hello, sorry. everyone. No, it hasn't, John. I'd like to apologise for. <laughs> no. I think this has this. been a rip roaring white knuckle. I've, ride this is meant to be a normal episode. You've basically just put a funky <laughs> Christmas hat on a turd. You know, we could have just squeaked by. This would have been like a normal episode. Well, no I, one I, needed to know. I you could were... put a hat on a turd every fortnight. Let me tell you. <laughs> you, you shit once a fortnight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I mean this. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, well, well. No, I should, I should uh, shit yeah. once a fortnight, though. Yeah. The, yeah, do- the, should... doc- the doctor say if I hold it in anymore, it could kill me. What a way to go. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's what Beyonce does. That's how she gets her pearls. That would make more sense. It would. She it, holds if... it in for four weeks. Beyonce makes holds it for a uh, Ferrero Rocher pyramid. Oh, yes, yeah. of course. That's what goes in the link calendar. <laughs> anyway, Merry... No wonder they're dancing around. Oh, yeah. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Merry Christmas, what one? Happy holiday. Oh, um... <laughs> Well, I don't stop know. trying to end the show. John. <laughs> yeah, I want out. I John, want out. John's yeah. done. Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't on board with this. I got. I got have we learned? Have we learned the... what the spirit of Christmas is? Uh, lying. Okay, so the options are lying, lying, or eating lying or chocolate. Whatever you, yeah, lying or chocolate. Lying because or chocolate. because we're adults. Yeah. Well, both technically it's both. Well, all our loves are a bit shit. All our hates are a bit shit. Hey, I fucking love that Ferrero Rocher. Yeah. Well, Ferrero Rocher is pretty cool. Yeah. All right. What do you want? Pretty cool. I'm not bothered. Well, I, I guess I love then. Merry Christmas, everyone. Love wins ha- for Christmas. Have a great holiday. Be nice to each other. Fuck the Tories. <laughs> Fuck the Tories. <laughs> Fuck the Tories. Are we, we going to do a special episode over Christmas? Yeah. Oh, well, now, yeah. Now, oh, so that, now that's a Christmas <laughs> episode. We've got to bring something back. Yeah. Okay, no, yeah. Like, oh, no, yes, we're going we're gonna to do a special episode. A winter, yeah, we're gonna a winter, a winter yeah. episode. Yeah, we'll do a winter festive win- episode. Winter, we are a version of the holiday. Winter ween. We'll do winter ween. We'll watch the holiday. 
And uh, oh, really? We're not going to watch. No, that. we're not going to watch. We'll watch a movie. movie. Try to guess which movie. Try to guess which movie. We know already. Yeah, yeah. we know what. We're yeah. Doing. Anyway, send, it, send in your answers on the post. Have a magical day, everyone. Yes. And uh, and um, no re- no refunds.